That's just the THX logo. themselves and not have to worry about somebody else taking Hold on. How about now? Are we muted? Can you guys hear us? Let us know. Shout at us, please. Ah. Are we live? Yes. Oh, we are. We are. Good. Hello, everybody. What's up? How's everybody doing? Does everybody like my new voice? I do. Darren does. Thanks, Darren. <laughs> Darren, how's it going out there? How's London? It's good. It's good, man. Good, man. Tom, Tom and Katie, Katie they left, they this, left morning. this morning. They were here, they were for, here like, for like over, over a week. week. Ivan, Ivan is upstairs. upstairs. He's, on the, He's on the third floor right now. Right now. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he uh, hopped, hopped over, over from Berlin, Berlin, Berlin to hang, hang out. out. Uh, I brought yeah, he goes to, to Berlin all the time. time. He goes every summer. Cool. Yeah. Um. Must be tough. It's good. We went. To, I took him to a football match today. Tottenham uh, against uh, Wolverhampton. The Wolverhampton mm. Wolves. Oh yeah, I saw. I saw you. 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 Uh, you showed a goal. Uh, yeah, the uh, one Instagram. goal. So yeah. Tottenham won. And it was right in your corner. Did. Yeah, like they were playing on this side, like the goal, like on our side. Yeah, it was freaking sweet ivan like he said he's like i I, i've got to buy a jersey (laughs) like he bought a tottenham jersey he's like i'm a fan i'm a tottenham person now (laughs) (laughs) it's so Uh, funny zach did you did you get inked up today i got a tattoo today inked up that's why i was late uh it's you got uh because you're not sure if you're gonna go to jail or not so you got that swastika just in case <laughs> just just so everybody knows what team i'm on oh boy know, hell just, yeah uh, that's how you gotta do it yeah yeah you gotta show them what team you're on yeah. first day uh what did uh, you get i got it's it's wrapped up but i guess i'll unwrap it how Ooh. long do you have to leave the cellophane on i thought it was I think like just 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, been literally know. it's been like 15 minutes I would um, leave it on but I don't, I don't know, know. I'll, show, I'll, I'll take it off in an hour and then we'll see there it there you go It'll, we'll do an unboxing of all right, yeah, we yeah. should all guess don't tell what it us. is yeah 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 we should have chat uh, vote can you give it. us a hint ooh ancient moth just dropped some memes in the chat oh just meme in the shit out of all the internet those memes all over the place wow Neat. and Marsh Marshman just dropped one meme I don't even know what you're talking about. That's that's what I, they say when people subscribe or gift subs. Oh, you say you yeah. drop memes? Because uh, I think yeah. Darren it's said that Darren like a year and a half time. ago, yeah. and it kind of stuck. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't understand it, but it, well, I think it's a good thing. But you said it. But you didn't know what you were saying. Yeah, you didn't know. The whole said. thing was you didn't know what it was. So okay. <laughs> I still don't know what it is. I don't know. When what somebody stuff, subscribes to our channel or buy subscriptions for other people that's what those are You're and so who, it's still I, I why are you those. buying subs for other people i don't get it yeah subscriptions I, I mean, to our channel not sandwiches <laughs> somebody says timmy sounds whack hey, timmy you do sound like you're a little more tin canny than well do you guys know why though i mean wait because he, he has covid <laughs> i sound bad like it's my well, voice you just sound like you're microphone. like you're in a fighter jet like oh you're, i do you're maverick oh, okay. yeah, 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 oh yeah because yeah, yeah, he's He's using his headset as the microphone, right? I'm using my headset. Maybe I should change the... Uh, or just turn up the gain or something like that. Turn up your gain. Um, okay, turn up my gain. I have no idea what that meant. Uh, oh, let yeah. me see. Uh, Who ate pancakes last? That's a great question. Which of us has eaten pancakes the most recently? I bet me. 
I'd put yeah, I think about a, mm, seven weeks ago, I went out to Fred 62's and had brunch, and I had pancakes. Are their pancakes fantastic? I bet they are. Uh, em- Emily's mom is helping us with the baby right now, and so pretty much every day, she's like, do you guys want anything for breakfast? And so we're like, every once in a while, hey, blueberry pancakes? And she's like, Sure. I love blueberry we get pancakes. Delicious, delicious blueberry pancakes for for breakfast. It's great. Yeah, that's awesome. Warsaw, I did see that. Yes. <clears throat> um, um. Yeah, I'm a dad now. That's new. All right. What? Let's skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. What happens? Yeah, skip. What is skip. I'm gonna <laughs> skip token myself. Skip. Token. skip what token. did we? Skip. Why did we skip him? <laughs> I was messing with my mic. Congratulations to Sam. He's got a little baby boy. Skip. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, I awesome. eat a lot of French toast. I make. I like to make French toast. I haven't had pancakes forever. Timmy so really we, did skip. We are <laughs> skipping. We're, we're just yeah. moving right no, on. No, no, no. I'm new, fine with that. A new person <laughs> came out of Sam's balls. Oh, but we already knew. On. I thought we already knew that. That's fucking old. Well, post. some people didn't know that. Someone in I don't chat. think people I'm have seen Sam. They yeah, but some people chat, don't even know about baby. Trevor yet. So, we, you know. <laughs> so I just like wait a minute. do you actively have COVID? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How's it feel? It sucks. Again. <laughs> wow. I mean, look, it sucks worse than, less than it did. The first time, because I have all the vaccines and shit, but, uh, you know, but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I technically, as of yesterday, I don't have to quarantine anymore, but, and I, I feel pretty much okay, but all the coughing I did the last few days has, like, made me sound like this now, so. Wow. I'm, like, okay now, still pretty, like, weak, but I'm not, like, sick anymore. So, Zach, you're the only one, right? Darren, you've never had it. Can't, I can't get it. Why? You know for a fact. I can't get it. You should do you, something that's like very like oh you'll get like go to like Sturgis or something like that. Done all, done all that stuff. Oh, that Sturgis just wrapped up last week too. Oh, I just missed your chance. Yeah. I could. You want me to mail you some of my spit coming blood? Spit coming blood, yeah. Well, if I do all three, then you'll definitely. Oh, and some snot, then you'll definitely. Yeah, yeah. You just eat some of that stuff. I thought the same, Zach. I thought I was like, I can't get COVID. I mean, I've been like subways, London, packed places, theaters, I mean, all over. And I was like, I can't get it. And then I got it like three weeks ago. How bad was it? It wasn't bad at all. It was like two days, a little bit feverish, and it was over. Wow. I, I was some, talking. I think. I was, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was talking to people about how, yeah, like, about, like, I, hey, I don't, I, I've i managed to not get it because we were, like, when Emily was pregnant, we are really trying to not get it because it can really fuck things up. And uh, we got it in the hospital. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, the last that possible sucks. day. That and sucks. it was bad COVID. It was, like, not fun. And it was, like, that whole thing of, like, Hey, yeah, those first two days of being home with your kid, you uh, uh, you, you can't get any sleep. It's like especially right. hard if you're sick. If you have like if your body yeah, is I'm like, sure. hey yeah, asshole, get some sleep. Yeah, that's crazy. But, uh, sorry, Darren, for cutting you off. Sorry. No. no. Yeah, we <laughs> talked to you on the phone, Sam, and you were like. It was the worst two days of my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't imagine that, man. It was up there. Like, it was up oof, there, cause yeah. Like, you're just getting used to the baby thing. And, yeah, they're such a fucking project at first. And then you feel like shit. That's crazy. And the baby had, like, like slight, you know, like, there was, like, a chance. Like, we were worried about jaundice. So we had yeah. to feed, feed the baby every two hours. Right. And it takes, like a, like, at least a half hour to feed a baby. Yeah, because they don't know what to fucking do. I had really because also it's when I like you have to feed them. Yellow. You have to feed them and then burp them and then like you know change them and so it's, it's a, a whole, whole goddamn process. thing. And so, this yeah. is what I was worried that this whole stream was going to turn into when when you said you were pregnant. This is exactly what I was worried about. Skip token me. I'm fine with it. But also, let's see if anyone else besides Zach cares. It doesn't really look like it, so we could just keep going. <laughs> I'm fine. Paul or JFY. Agree, Zach. Sl- Slinger of Slaw. Zach is killing it today. Oh, now they're saying it. <laughs> well, there's a gonna... delay. There's oh. a little bit of a delay. There's a yeah, delay. Yeah. You're a delay. 
One yeah. of the funniest things any of you have ever said was when I think Zach said, you know, I hear Jared Leto is actually super down to earth. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that, but that, that is back funny. when was that That's one of our funny. very first streams? We did a whole, we we took a while talking about when Jared Leto had that fucking like festival for himself. Remember I mean, is that? that still this going is, on? Is Wait, it this still? Is, he's still doing it. This is classic Zach fan shit here. Zach is the shit. Fuck kids. You hear that, Zach? All your fans are pedophiles. Yeah, they dude. Fuck Congratulations. Kids, yeah, see, that's that's classic, Sam. <laughs> you're always trying to cancel people on the internet for saying shit. Obviously, you're taking it out of context. They don't mean have sex with kids. They mean like fuck kids like this. Yeah, you're you're the I problem. Know. I don't know. You and your remember, whole when, generation remember when Sam tried to send like everybody to fucking that cancel culture? Suck remember my when dick. Sam tried to send everybody to ancient that pizza moth place eleven jerking off baseball. dogs and fucking kids? <laughs> ancient moth, you're out. You're out of my oh team, dude. Go go join on Team Sam. It's real fun over there. Everybody has a great time. Yeah, nobody's getting any sleep in their shit everywhere. <laughs> uh, Zach has super sexy cool hair now, and we will respect him. There we go. Thank you very I much. I agree with that. You do what have else like, is new, fellas? It is like ex-convict chic hair. Well, this like is a good one. Sith Psychopath says, Sam, did you get to try breast milk? Genuine question. I found it surprisingly good when the mist was milking. <laughs> have you tried it? I have not. Why not? Dude. Uh, I, what? No. I've been I too busy not. getting getting peed on and stuff. Are you getting peed on? Sam, no yeah. one asks no one asks what you're doing in your free time. Yeah, I know, right? And then it, it costs a lot, so uh <laughs> And then I come home and I got this fucking baby crying all the time. It's like, how am I supposed to enjoy the after golden shower glow with this baby <laughs> crying all the time? Yeah. Again with the pee bit twice a, twice today. Uh, Wait, we already did a pee bit already. Oh, yeah, sorry, I, you're you're still in the. I bed. think he was just reading chat. I'll, I'll read some chat. I'm happy okay. to. Rad Nugget says, "Great job, Zach. You're killing it." Um. <laughs> Hey Zach, are they saying anything here? about me? Are they saying anything about me? Anything? <laughs> like one thing? <laughs> I mean, and we'll see. In ten seconds, we'll probably say so. Darren's hot. Yeah. Darren's hotty. Hey, uh, uh, I'll read yeah, a, can we have a couple. I feel couple like donos. I would be offended by that. Like they just see you as an object, you know? Yeah. Darren, Dude, yeah. Well, you it's know, all skin deep with this guy. I am oh, I am an object. Oh, here's one. Absolutely. Domino's Fleet says, I appreciate who Darren is as a person. That's like the most negging thing you could say to someone. Yeah. I don't like that. I like more <laughs> of the Darren's hot stuff. You what? <laughs> you want so, the hot stuff? Someone said they want to stick it in Darren. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I hope I they ask that's... permission first. That's dick butt stuff or dick mouth stuff. That's cool. Dick butt stuff, the football coach. Uh, um, I heard oh. like the the prince guy, the prince over here. He likes uh, pegging. You know what that Ooh. is? Wh which prince? <laughs> Do you guys know what pegging Ooh. is? Have you guys heard of pegging? <laughs> you heard about this? <laughs> yes, You're not I, talking to, to I, three I, virgins I didn't. here, Darren. I didn't. Uh. <laughs> My wife had to explain it to me. I was I'm getting like, pegged oh, right on. now. I swear, I didn't know. I really hope she it was like it at a me. fancy dinner. <laughs> okay. Karen, You're like, wait, what is pegging? Someone explain this to me. Karen, my grandma's trying to eat dessert. Karen. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, so what's That's new, guys? Um, well, uh, this is maybe my last stream from this house. Well, Zach's movie came out. Right? I didn't. No. no, it did not. Oh, comes out on it, when? It September played, 9th. It played at a festival. Yeah, played it played at a couple festivals. It's playing at a bunch of festivals right now. Um, How's it going? It's going great. People are people are really liking it, man. It's it's crushing. Um, cool. And Darren, I'm so bummed that so I'm I'm coming to London on Thursday, next Thursday, and I'm going to be there. I guess you'll be gone the whole time I'm there. I leave, yeah, this coming Wednesday, and then I'll be back into London the following Tuesday. Unbelievable, man. It's like exactly yeah. when I'm going to be there. It and it, dude, it's playing yeah. at a big IMAX screen. 
in in Soho. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I I was actually there's a lot of shit going on at work, and I was like, Rachel, I I, I might have to stay and work while you and the kids go to Switzerland, um, but not happening. She's Switzerland. Like, <laughs> Switzerland's yeah. awesome. I mean, I've never been, yeah, but I, I know I know I have friends that live there. They love it. Yeah, I've never been. I'm just gonna eat lots of chocolate and cheese. Uh, Open up oh, a bank like account. that Ween album. Ah, oh, maybe oh, that's yeah. about Chocolate Switzerland. Chocolate with Wonder. cheese. Oh, I have a good weird. I have a good voice for singing that part from Ween now. Peaches and cherry. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, what's going on in the news, guys? What's in the headlines? <laughs> oh God. Well, they raided Mar-a-Lago. Pretty crazy. They raided that's Mar-a-Lago. Because he need uh, he had nuclear documents, mm-hmm. like nuclear. He had codes. a lot of classified documents, and he wouldn't give them back. And they've been going back and forth for months, trying to be like, "You need to turn those in." And he was like, "Oh, I will, I will." And then he never did. <laughs> They're in the mail. They're in the mail. The yeah, nuclear secrets oh, are in the I, mail. Totally. Uh, that I, is I, kind of insane that that's how it went. They were like, "You have these things. You weren't allowed to take them, and we need them back." And he was like. Absolutely, 100%. And then they, he just never gave them back. And it got to the point where they've been going back and forth and back and forth. Finally, they're like, I guess we have to go get them. Like, you're making us go get them? Unbelievable. You know what it reminds and me of? And then he threw a tantrum. It if, reminds if you me want of that these, scene. If you want these documents, you got to come down here and get them. I don't think you want that. <laughs> That's what yeah, we have to like, do? You know what that means, right? He had yeah. every no, you chance to just give them. them back, and he didn't. Um, it reminds me of that scene... In the in Fargo, uh, towards the beginning, when when the guy is uh, when uh, you know, William H Macy's character is on the phone, telling this guy he's gonna send over the VIN yeah. numbers for his cards. Oh yeah. yeah, I'll just have my girl fax them on over. No no no, the fax doesn't work. Okay, well we'll shoot it on over to you. Like that's probably <laughs> what he was doing, right? Like oh yeah yeah, yeah I'll just have my girl send them. You know, it, it doesn't. Work out. He does seem like like it. You know, I know he doesn't drive. He gets, like, driven around everywhere. But if he did, he'd be the first president to get a boot put on his car. Yeah. Like, to be like, I don't have to pay tickets. Like, I was the president. And yeah. they're like, no, you have to pay parking tickets. You All right, what are you going to do? You still can't double park in front of, in front of the porn shop. I'm, I'm sorry. Man, um, it's just funny that this is the exact thing that, like, he was campaigning to lock her up about you know yeah. that like yeah. it was the it was all about like she wasn't respecting classified information that is you know it's so funny, right dude. well it's just like how they say like uh the loudest homophobes are normally you know also secretly gay you know it's like you're always well there's a saying about how whatever you're the loudest about you're often guilty of the same crime or whatever you know what are you the loudest about timmy what what, what outrages you the most What makes your blood boil? I just, I just hate it. I hate it when people have huge, humongous dicks. You know, <laughs> oh, isn't that the worst? Just bouncing from one knee to the oh, other. Oh, you know what? You oh, know what? Actually, come on, buddy. I have a good, I have a good answer. Good. What that, is that, it? That that drives home the point, yet is still true. And I'll just be honest. I do hate getting talked over, but I do that a lot too. You know what I mean? So it's like, and I feel like everybody's probably got examples like that. You know? Is that your number one getting? Talked I don't over? know. I, I'm so fucking like I'm barely hanging in here right now. I've been so wiped out, so I can't really. I'm, I, I'm not really good at thinking about what I'm mad about right now. <laughs> Timmy, your voice really does sound very Alex Jonesy. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. There's there, there's frogs. What is this whole frogs? There's gay frogs, and uh. Nothing, nothing that, ever happened. That trial, that trial is, is really yeah. fun. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Everyone was like going on and on about this. Uh, uh, what's his name? Johnny, Johnny Depp, Depp trial. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Alex yeah. Jones trial. Oh, dude. that is. Tell me, I'm, I'm, I've been living under a oh. rock. What's the deal? It's so oh, funny because he's so good. You can watch any clip. He's yeah. doing all of his well, shit over still. Now. He, over he's. Now. He's going into this trial, and then he's going and still doing his radio show or some shit. But so yeah. when he's doing that, he's saying stuff like, "Like, oh, the the jury's made up of people that my my enemies have hired." And they're and so in the trial, they have to like go over like, "Do you like in under oath, do you believe 
that these jurors were hired by your enemies. And he'll go like, no, but... And they're like, no, you just, you can't do, you have to answer the question. Yeah. That's not you how it works. go yeah. on tirades. Hey, if they believe the like, media, uh, they are. It was all about, like, kind of, like... Stupid shit. It's kind of acting great. like he didn't know how anything worked in the court. And maybe he actually didn't. I don't know. <laughs> and didn't he say on his radio that the judge was like a satanic pawn? Something yeah. like that. Some, yeah. Like something. I think he did. And so the yeah. judge the thing is, like, he would, is he taking would go to... so much joy in being like, no, this isn't how no, this works. This how it works. Like, yeah. like every. Yeah. They're... And they're trying right. to be impartial and they're trying to just like run the trial like they're supposed to. And he just makes it so difficult every three seconds because he's just like crazy and then he would finish the trial for the day court would adjourn for the day and he'd like walk outside of the cameras and say a bunch of crazy shit and then the next day the, the uh you know the other side's attorneys would be like did you say this yesterday and he's like, oh. <laughs> 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 like what, what, what? <laughs> there's Very so many good. screen caps you can find of him going like this like from like every day that happened at least once. And then, and then his this... lawyer sent like a, a yeah. clone of his entire phone to the opposing defense. Yes. Or the, yes. Uh, the opposing and there's yeah. this amazing moment where his lawyer is like, so like you believe that like you, you, you didn't know anything about the, the you're, you're mixing that. He's like, yes, yes. And he's like, and but you do know that your lawyer sent your entire phone over. So we have texts. That that prove that that's not true, and he goes, "Well, I guess you got your Perry Mason moment right there." <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and he's like, "I'm not hiding it. That's that we did that on purpose." You know, he oh tried to like, gosh. yeah, it was so bad. It's, it's great. He's it's pathological. Just, you know, he just he, yeah. he can't yeah. not he can't lie. not lie. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. sure. We. Isn't it so weird that we took a car with him that one time? Yes. Wait, yes. what? Who did? He drove that all the time. He drove. What? He drove. Who Wait, did? you were in a car with Alex Jones? Yeah. Yeah. It was when we Who? did uh, when we South by Southwest, did South right? by Southwest. We ended tour at South by Southwest, and IFC was having us go do publicity at some radio station, and you and Trevor weren't there. Timmy, you weren't there. I don't remember riding with Alex Jones. Maybe I was there and so blocked it, it was out. After we did the radio station, they had us. They were like, "All right, we got to go pick up Alex Jones." Yeah, and we went to some there. like, we went to some like like industrial park, and yeah, where he must it do was his like radio office show. Building. Yeah, yeah, like general office buildings, and he like walked out and just got in the car and drove us to wherever we needed to go. He's like, "I'll and drive." He's just, he's just talking about Obama. He's like that <laughs> puppet Obama. He just started going like he was on the radio. He can't help. He got it. in the car, started driving. He's like, "Well, yeah. pop." Well, yeah. also the funniest thing was he gets on the highway in Austin and just fucking floors it like pedal to the metal floors <laughs> it, and he goes, "Oh, I forgot, forgot. I'm not, I'm not in my Mustang." <laughs> cool, like, yeah. cool man. Yeah. And then he ha he had a, like a friend with his that also did like loose change type documentaries, and they were talking about um, like house. Hey, how's your Amazon sales the whole time? About like like really businessy of these conspiracy theory documentaries. And then at the like right at the end of the ride, the press person from IFC turns to him and goes, "So uh, what do you think of the documentary?" Because uh, he was in that documentary New World Order, and he goes. They must have been using a special f a filter that made my face look fat. <laughs> <laughs> and like, was he joking or was he like serious? He was serious. He he thought they did something to make him look fatter. Oh my god, he's delusional. Yeah. He, and this was this was like, I mean, he he is he wasn't full form Alex Jones yet. He was still like the like. Charizard or the beginning level Pokemon right. of the yes. full fledged Alex Jones. It's uh it's interesting because they have like an economist come and sit on the stand and the economist is there to tell everyone how much money Alex Jones makes and he Charming, like puts the num he puts the numbers together and the economist is like, you know, Alex Jones, like, you know, think whatever you want about him, but this guy makes a ton of money. 
he's probably made close to like two hundred million dollars, like one hundred seventy million dollars. Wow! And he knows how to make money. I think he like he's created like twenty one businesses um, ever since he like started out in high school. And yeah, I guess so he's not so like, bad. I, I just it's like one of those things that's like does it's like at. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like the, I can drive this personality and I can create these businesses. I can make a ton of money, or am I a different person on the other side? Or do I just I become the person that I've created? I don't know. It is. I mean, also like if you think about it, it is funny that like that here's this guy and you can go like he's got like hundreds of millions of dollars, and then he goes and he does his thing and he goes like and he goes all right now we're gonna take a break and talk about uh, these. These diet pills that uh, help your yeah. you know, ding dong work better, and it's like, at what point are you like, all right, I just am tired of talking about testosterone pills, and you know, like, uh, hey, hey guys, you want you want your ding dong to work better, right? Does Didn't he say he... ding dong? Yeah, he says ding dong all the Didn't time. Didn't he do that in he court? That penis like he is started. A... <laughs> I think he started talking about his supplements in court at one point too, and they're like, "No, no, 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 no." <laughs> really? <laughs> I think I heard this more. The great. thing is, is there was like every single day, it was like three or four day or what, a week of that trial. Like every day, there was this dude I, I, who was like threading it all on Twitter, and I was reading it. There was so much funny shit every single day, you know. But Darren's right; it blows the shit out of that stupid Johnny Depp trial. This it was way yeah. more entertaining, you know, uh, way more entertaining. Guy in a hat has a good point. WKUK supplements, let's go. Oh, yeah. Like, we should what, advertise supplements on this. What kind of supplements them? would we I don't sell? Know. We'll put, like, we should vitamin. make a cocktail. We should what make do we want own? them to do? Yeah. Oh, we could ask Bill. I bet Bill would make a good supplement. <laughs> I say Bill we make a bad <laughs> supplement. I say we Bill make <laughs> just yeah. makes vitamins in his house. <laughs> no, I mean, I bet, you know, we'll say, hey, Bill, what letters should we let in there? And he'll be like, D, R, and, you know, N. And we'll go, All right, vitamin D, vitamin R, and vitamin N goes in this. I just spelt out Darren. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh. No, I there's see. a vitamin A and E, too, so you could have D, A, R, R, E, N. Yeah. That's uh, vitamin D, vitamin A, riboflavin, and then riboflavin again, and then vitamin E, and N is... Niacin? Niacin? Niacin. Is, is there a vitamin P? Potassium? Uh, potassium's K. Uh, P is phosphorus, I want to say. So what if we had double phosphorus and vitamin C, and we could sell PCP pills? <laughs> you guys, you guys want to buy PCP, but Wait, it's vitamin it's phosphorus. PCP. I don't think phosphorus is one that you want, though, right? Mm-hmm. Isn't phosphorus like make you glow in the dark? <laughs> we could call it body yeah. glow. And it'd be like an RC Glow reference. PCP Glow, yeah. PCP Glow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yes. Someone says, is this Timmy's older brother, Jimmy? No. Interesting thing. Uh, we got older. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, we've gotten older since we started streaming. We've been doing this for two years now. Jesus. Oh, what else is new? I put that on my picture because I saw a few people asking that probably missed the starting. So I I'm just... dying to ask you why do you sound so weird? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, I hey, saw a few uh, people in chat. So do we have any donos? Just, just yeah. out of curiosity, do we have well, any donos? Want me to donos? read them? Yeah. Zach, you want to do donos. it or should I? Okay. Uh, Timmy, you do it. You got it. Because I sound so fucking sexy right now. I just okay. want you to talk more. All right. Yeah. I saw that I'm completely. <laughs> silent by the end uh may mcdonald music donated 50 bucks and says i have covid day four feels like murder wow. 50 we'll bucks thanks kids. man yeah thanks, thank you may. may may and uh right. i'm sorry you have covid and then she says blueberry pancakes question mark so getting high with dinosaurs donated 30 bucks thank you oh. very much mm. says i declined hanging with my friends tonight and hope that you would stream thanks for mm. streaming it's so nice to see you and judy did judy oh. already show up i didn't even see that and then taking meds donated oh, 15 yeah. bucks and says, Zach, what was it that time with you where you decided that if you couldn't actually realize you wanted to, but can never really be too far? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I saw someone made one of those into a shirt. And that's yes! Awesome. Yes! That's I saw that somewhere, too. 
Um, um, that that would be a good, hat, a good hat trend too. Like having what? just the the nonsense hat words on. Yeah, the hat. having it just go along one side around the back. <laughs> Like it starts it just in the middle, wraps it around. around, but it doesn't go all the way around. You know, it ends around here. <laughs> yeah, that way you see it has like an end. It has to stop. You know, like if it goes all the way around, it's just a ring. Zach looks like the greaser bully from Dazed and Confused. Is that the guy just like I'm the one f smoking marijuana, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that guy. He's cool. Uh, Nikki Cat, I think, is the actor. Oh, is it Nikki Cat? I remember him. Uh, Rad Nuggets okay. asks, if Timmy dies from COVID on stream, will the rest of you finish or stop early? <laughs> you guys can finish. What? Go yeah. to six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have you have my permission. Not that you need it, but you have. What if you my, like uh... choked? What if you choked and you were like, ah, 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 <laughs> yeah. and we were just like, I don't know what to do. Like. How, How do, do you we... call nine one one in South Dakota? Like. You call nine one one. I'd skip it. What's funny is we'd have to we'd have to call like a nine one. I mean, I think we'd call nine one one and then be like, "Hey, like they could contact the other nine one one." Yeah. But also, we would have to like look up Timmy's address. Yeah, yeah. We'd be like, and "Everyone in chat, has Timmy ever doxed himself? We got to find his home address. Come on!" I'd be like, yeah. "I think I sent the, him something on Amazon." To Watertown, once. South Dakota. Yeah. Here's what I would guess. Okay, Watertown, South Dakota operator. Listen, he's probably the most famous person in Watertown. Timmy Williams. He's actually Honestly, been you on know national what? television before. I know two. I know at least the, the two radio of the, host, I, Timmy Williams. Don't say that, please. Uh, I told I you not to, Sam, like months ago. Anyways, uh, <laughs> two of the people. Uh, I I know like two of the people that work at the 911 here so you probably could do exactly that, you know? i was right so they would be like oh yeah we know who timmy is oh yeah they'd I'll be send like, a guy oh, over he's to choking house. again yeah he does that we'll send someone over <laughs> oh he's choking again it must be saturday yeah <laughs> <laughs> every saturday he uh he normally does it later than this but every saturday he he gets too many fucking uh Werther's originals in his mouth at once, and then he'll watch something funny and laugh, and he'll get stuck in his throat. And we have to go suck it out of him. It's it's Saturday. It's when the new shipment of Werther's comes in. <laughs> yeah, I just <laughs> outside the the gas station at like 11:59 p.m. last night. Like, <laughs> it's like the beginning of Billy Madison. You're like, what day is it? Oh, <gasps> it's Werther's day. <laughs> you know what? I don't know why. I think Where I just picked that because it's a hard candy. I, those aren't that great. I was never into those. That's like an old guy candy, right? Yeah, totally. I like, I like I it candy, when I, was a kid. I want like Starburst. Uh, Did Wilford know? Brimley advertise Werther's? No, because he advertised Werther's diabetes. Originals. That sounds Probably. right. <laughs> yeah, Maybe he had to do diabetes ads because... He did a lot of Werther's ads, and they were like, look, man. It was a vicious <laughs> cycle. He We've got done the math. You've contributed to a huge rise in diabetes. It's time for you to fucking pay up. <laughs> we'll help you live a better life. I love that I, I said he advertised diabetes, and you guys, it's all like, yeah, he, yeah that's what he did. <laughs> but as how come he always know, pronounced it? Like, Nia Mix brings it up. He said diabetes. 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 It's like everyone knows it's diabetes. And yeah. he was, he's diabetes. like on TV and he's like, you got diabetes? Nah, he's, he's a cowboy. Dude, he was uh, that guy? Cowboy, dude. Have you ever he, seen... He um, must have been a huge asshole. Like, you he's know like, what? I'll say it how I say it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Here's the thing. Yeah. It's like, so I... Uh, I'll do my I job. Like a, I'll do my job. I, I, <laughs> I saw part of this little documentary about the thing, and he's in the, the you know the John Carpenter version of the thing, and they interview him like it was from like 2005 or something, and he's like not some weird cowboy guy. He had no like this is just him at home when he's not acting, no facial hair, and he's just like chilling in this nice like kind of normal looking living room, and he's got like a cat with him, and he's just kind of talking normal like kind of with a higher pitched voice. He's like, yeah, John Carpenter is kind of a genius. And I was just like, what the fuck? Wow. Maybe it's just because he was older, but like it was not. How, whatever you would think Wilfred Brimley was like, you know, it was very weird. I loved then it. His, his watch goes off and he goes, "Oh, need some insulin." <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, his best performance is Hard Target with Jean Claude Van Damme. Wilfred Brimley is on some fucking other shit there. I don't understand it. He's got a Cajun accent, and John Van, John Van Damme's character runs into his 
shed, and he's like, I'm being followed, I'm being chased. And Wilfred Bidley's like, first line is like, I know, I can smell him. <laughs> it's beautiful, the whole, the whole, it's, it's beautiful. Have you ever seen the movie Rolling Thunder? No, is that the, the one that no. Tarantino would always talk about? Is that a helicopter yeah, movie? Yeah, I think so, I think so. No, it's uh, a movie about uh, an ex-convict, or no, not or, or a vet. Not an ex-convict. Oh, no, it's I have Willem Devane with the hook hand. Willem Devane, yeah. And he, he, I haven't seen it. He, Some guys go and they kill his family and they put his hand in a garbage uh, compactor. But basically, he he goes to his like old like army buddy's place, played by Tommy Lee Jones. And he shows up with like a hook hand and he goes like, I know where the guys who killed my family are. I'm going to go like, you know, to Mexico to shoot them. And, and Tommy Lee Jones is just like, Let's go. <laughs> like, it's like the best, like... Now, okay, see, that's yeah, friendship. Let's go kill. Let's go That's kill. friendship. If I showed up at any of your houses and said that, would you just say, I'll go with you? No. no. See? 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 No. They're, that's I, not, that's, that's not a reflection it. of our friendship. Okay. <laughs> just a so if I said, uh, my daughter's been held friendship. hostage... I'm waiting until and... someone comes by and says that to me to say yes to it, and... <laughs> If you did it, I would say no. <laughs> Wait, Timmy, go go with this. Sorry, if, sorry, sorry. What? If if your daughter was kidnapped. Oh, okay. So you're saying that me asking you to go on a commando mission would would not really be a test of our friendship because that's never what our friendship was about, right? No, no, no. I thought you were saying like if someone had killed a member of your family and you wanted revenge, no, I wouldn't help. But if your daughter was kidnapped, then I would. Okay. No, what I because was gonna go on. You can't... Revenge, if, if movies have taught me anything, is that revenge is never, it never brings about the dish best circle. Yeah. No, well, the reason I said that was just as a segue into asking you to do something that would align with our friendship. I was going to be like, the uh, kidnappers say they won't give her back unless we put on a dirty sketch comedy show or something, you know, like that. That's what I was going to do. Well, I was that do a little, a little <laughs> bit. I would do that. Here. Okay. Thank now. you. Uh, here's a question. <laughs> If, if Timmy shows up and he's like, Zach, I need your help. My daughter's been kidnapped and, and we got to go go get her back. You would help, Zach, you're saying? You'd be like, yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So at, at what point of Timmy's plan do you think you'd be like, oh, uh, maybe not? Well, if I had <laughs> to, like, get into a car, <laughs> I'd be like, well. Dude, if this is like, like a commando situation, home, like, where I show up at your house. Like, when actually do you think I'll be home? I would, I'd, I'd need a lot of information. <laughs> I like show up and say that. You're like, okay, man, I'll help you. We walk outside your house, and there's just a big van. I'm the only person. No one else is in the van, and it's just full of, like, stolen guns from somewhere. I'm like, I knocked over an armory depot last night. You ready? And you'll just be like, I, uh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm re I Technically, yes, I am ready, but, like, I also did not get very much sleep last night, and I feel like... If I don't get a good night's sleep tonight, I'm just gonna be lost tomorrow. And uh, oh uh, man, this is like a this would be a great Lettuce Kids movie. Is we just try and be <laughs> we just do the same plot as Commando, only none of us are Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah, um, no one, nobody goes. Right, and we're just like I, I don't know. And like and this is actually a Commando too, but one of us tries to like test out a rocket launcher and shoots it the wrong way. We're just like I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> They're I, like, are you, you're seriously, we're going to go, like, what do you expect us to do? You're not asking the right people, Timmy. I can, like, make some calls. Maybe, like. <laughs> make some calls, Sam. No, I need you to throw two knives at once like this and kill two guards. I just like, I can't. That. I can't. <laughs> I don't know it's, how to do that. Why did you think I could do that? <laughs> it's not going to end well. Uh, I'm going to hurt somebody or myself. This reminds me, today I woke up and turned the TV on, and one of my favorite TV shows was on, which is, uh, What Would You Do? Oh, wow. Give That's me a some. fucking throwback. What Would You Do? Uh, it, do you, you know the show, right? It's with the, the guy, it's like from 2020. It's basically a prank show, oh. but without pranks. Wait, you uh, mean the one from the 90s with Mark Summers? No. No, no, no. Oh, there's uh, a new show called that. I don't know. Okay. There, there's, a, it's, it's a, it's a like, it's a. Sorry, uh, I was, um, it's a show like a sixty minutes or twenty twenty kind of segment that's spun off where they basically they have actors go into a situation and they like they'll like 
be racist towards someone and they get people around them to react and then they go hey did you know you're on what would you do uh (laughs) and it's it's basically a prank show with no pranks and it's hilarious because it's it's like old grandma's being like hey you shouldn't talk to that guy like that but also at some point the situations they run out of material and the one i saw today it was a couple breaking up on a bench and being like hey i just don't love you anymore and they're all like what would you do and then it's like look at this guy as he walks away and it's like yeah that's the logical thing if you're in new york and someone's like breaking up next to you and they like it's like and then like sometimes it'll be a grandma being like you don't just he doesn't deserve you you know you're better than that and they're like oh yeah it's insane it's basically like not funny nathan for you have you guys watched the new Nathan for You show? No, I've heard. Oh, I've yeah. heard it's fucking insane. Yeah. I really want to watch. It's out it. of control. The rehearsal. Sam, yeah. have you seen yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's it's great. I've not yeah. seen it. It's so. Well, I've heard the finale you know, last night is like insane. HBO. It's yeah. Uh, the 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 woman from it uh, has an Instagram account and has started like replying, like s- making comments about it. Of course, it's so she funny is. She's, she's so like, insane. And she's like. Yeah, it's a good experience, but you know, ultimately, it just wasn't for me. And you know, Nathan, he was run. It felt like it was all for him, and uh, it wasn't my my rehearsal anymore. And uh, you know, obviously, I didn't get final cut. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, yes, what no shit. This you is? fucking yeah. moron. <laughs> <laughs> You're entitled to final cut on this thing. <laughs> That's like Kanye, uh, like when. <laughs> When those guys have been making a documentary about him for 10 years and like the month before it comes out at Sundance, he's like, he's like tweeting like, I need to have final cut of this documentary. It's like, that's not how it works. <laughs> it's like he just hadn't thought about it for 10 years. I was like, oh, wait, I look fucking crazy in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> I got to stop this. Uh, what is like, what's the plot of the rehearsal? Like what? What is the show? So the, the the starting off point is that he decides that like if people could rehearse interactions, maybe they would be like less, you know, more capable in their lives. And so he decides to set it up so that he gets people from like Craigslist to be like, oh, I have this problem. Can you help me out with it? And the first guy is some guy who lied about graduating or lied about working on his master's when he hasn't graduated college yet and he lied to his trivia team about it and he's afraid about talking to someone from his trivia team uh about it and the trivia night did you ever go to the the bar the alligator lounge in brooklyn the one that's the place where they would have like free pizza for every beer pizza for every beer yeah i love that place yeah so he fucking recreates the alligator lounge in a studio and has actors playing all these people so this guy can rehearse this moment in his life but that's just the jumping off point of the whole show uh and it gets like so insane and very like folds in on itself in a very weird way yeah (laughs) it's kind of reminds me of like a way smarter version of that show review where it's like Cause like review, it's like, you think it's about this guy that just like reviews things, but then as it goes on, it's more about like his life is crumbling and he like can't keep the show together and it's pretty good. But this feels like, a, like if Michelle Gondry kind of like took the reins and it's, it's like kind of like philosophical and profound at times and very, very funny and awkward. It, it's really great. Yeah. Hmm. He's amazing. Sounds good. Yeah. It, it, yeah it I've uh, not seen very much of his stuff at all. Yeah. It really dips in and out of like, kind of like that, like, uh, like the reality of it's really funny to like, there's like some profound statement to it to it's like that kind of, uh, windy city heat sometime where it's like, Oh my God, these people are, are being so embarrassing on national television. Yeah. Kind of thing. Did you like review Sam? Did you like that show? I thought that the pancake episode of Review was like one of the funniest things ever. Yeah, so funny. I thought that was just like a perfect kind of escalation of a joke. Um, but um, yeah, it's good. You guys want to see my tattoo? Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
Ooh, uh, what's that called? Snake eating itself. What's that Ouroboros. called? Ouroboros. 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 Cool. Uh, it's a snake sucking its own dick. Yeah, self suck. Yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that That's works. Great. I'll just get a, a hey. SS inside, you know, like Self? two jagged. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back yeah, to the SS. the jagged ones, the ones that yeah, look yeah, like yeah. lightning bolts. Wow. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome yeah. back to SSSS Self Suck Snake Saturdays. <laughs> That's cool. Well, it stands for Self Suck, but it could stand for other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Super smooth, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the lightning ones would be badass. Uh, cool, cool. I got Heat Two, the book. Haven't oh, started. Oh, are you gonna I read that? It. I got it today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's interesting. Has Michael Mann written many other books? Like, it, it kind of. I think it was Michael ghost written. Oh, it's written by like another someone and Michael Mann. It's okay. Like, all right, yeah. Did you read it, Zach? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna read that. Uh, it's it's it's. I I like to imagine that relationship is just someone being like, oh, it would be so rad if like one guy was like this, and like like very much like movie pitching guy, like yeah, movie. right. <laughs> I feel like it'll probably be like when. Trevor pitched Star Wars 7 to George Lucas in that sketch, right? It'll be like, okay, what if De Niro's character comes back and now he's good with swords? You know, something like that. But she's a good guy! <laughs> That's like my favorite line. I still think about that line a lot. It's the only way she would do it! <laughs> I just find it so funny how close we got. Yeah, yeah it is really yeah. funny. <laughs> We're like, oh, this is not super far off. <laughs> It's very much the vibe. Like we got some details yeah. right on another Death Star. Yeah, <laughs> another yeah. Death Star. Another it Death Star. Okay, it was. My hands been Chewbacca. spinning all morning. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It, it is really funny though, because like I feel like when we made that, uh, you know, like the prequels had come out, but like the whole, you know, rebooting is like such more of a thing now. Oh yeah, there was, there was then. We we pretty much didn't think there would be a Star Wars seven. There's no reason to think there would be back then, you know. So let's watch that sketch. Somebody throw it on there. Okay. We haven't watched. We, you know what's funny is we haven't talked about any whitest kids stuff on this Twitch for I feel like a year. Zach, didn't no, you and I watch did. something or no? Last well, I time, guess did. after Trevor died, we were just like not doing it anymore, right. which makes sense. It's like Zach, I'm not didn't you watch. and I watch something? When we did we? Did the... What did we watch? Didn't we? I know that I got set up to do it. Maybe we didn't watch it. I feel like we watched Courtroom Stripper recent. Not too yeah, long Yeah, yeah, we ago. watched a couple. Oh, I yeah. Think. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We watched the Ponyberry sketches. Yeah, the Ponyberry sketch. <laughs> Amy Ponyberry, Supreme that Court was, Justice. That was actually hilarious. I was crying laughing. Yeah, that sketch is way funnier than I remember it being. Courtroom Stripper, yeah. And then the other one she was in about the hot sister is so fucking funny, too. That one. Yeah. Uh, Why is my sister so one. hot? I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Uh, we never watched Walt Whitman on stream. I'm not. I don't remember liking Walt Whitman. Is that one good? I, I thought like of this. boobs until a bunch of sticky stuff came out of my wiener. Trevor says some stuff in that sketch that you're like, oh. <laughs> he does like what? Like when he's describing like the prepubescent girls like tits, like <laughs> fleshy candy corn or whatever yeah, he describes. You're like crazy. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Come on. This and that was all have... that was all improvised too. We were like, Don't say that and he was like, Yeah, we're like, Trevor, we gotta take that out. Man. This is why the like, channels no, were on all... <laughs> Trevor, this is why the channels we're on always have at least three digits in their number. Come on. <laughs> Got a look. He got that look in his eyes. <laughs> I need this. Don't take this from me. Uh... Boobs, boobs, boobs. I want to be on boobs. I think that legitimately, when we wrote that, none of us remembered that Walt Whitman was like very gay and like yeah. an yeah. homosexual, <laughs> and that was not the joke. Like all these oh, people have been oh, like, yeah. oh yeah, well, it's funny because he's he's gay, right? That's the point. We're like, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, sure. Sure. Totally, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know that for a fact, right? It's it's a fact. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh boy. Sorry, it's gonna take me a second to bring this up. So. Well, it's been we have many, many seconds. So you Zach, need we are. Uh, I think as of yeah, there's some more donos. Um, Zach, as of yesterday, we're what three weeks from your movie, right? Uh, Hell yeah! So. September 9th. I don't know. Is that I three think weeks? it's three weeks away. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's a couple more donos. Okay, one one is sad. Uh, Big B Zerino donated 10 bucks and says, our dog Donnie died and we miss him so, so much. I just that want sucks. the world to know that we lost a special being. He deserves a shout out. Aww. If you have a dog, go rub its belly right now and give it a few treats from us. R.I.P. Donnie. We'll see you again someday. Uh, R.I.P. Donnie. That sucks. R.I.P. And sorry Zach, about that. He That's said, tough. he said tummy. Okay. Rub the tummy. I don't know, man. I can't help myself. I see those dog dicks and I just got to jerk them. <laughs> And then Trey here donated the 20 bucks and says... Trevor, every time, eh, he goes and he, he wipes his dog's dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Zach, sometimes he has to clean... So he goes and he cleans the dog dick off. <laughs> come on, Augie. God, come on. Come on. <laughs> Uh, All right, then Treyer donated 20 bucks and says, love everything you guys have done and do. How do you guys deal with negative emotions that stick with you a while? I, I just kind of let them fester until I uh, <laughs> until it I, I end up expressing it in a way unrelated and hurt someone I care about. Yeah, Timmy, you're a, you're a bottle up and lash out kind <laughs> yeah. of a fella. How's that yeah, worked out just, for you? How, how's that go? Yeah, it's great. Go oh, great. No, yeah. no, that's not. That, that maybe was me at one point. It's not me anymore. But uh, I... Uh, I'm sure I could get you to lash out. Oh, yeah, but like, but it, okay, but here's the thing. If you got me to lash out, I'd be lashing out at you. I would be expressing expressing the emotions as they came up, and I'd be pointing them, you know, maybe not handling them well, but at least I would not be taking them out on some, on, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I wouldn't be yeah. bottling them up. I just would yell at you and say, fuck you, and pretend I left the stream, and then 10 minutes later, I'd be fine. You know what I mean? So that wouldn't be like bottling it up. You know what I mean? Um... But, uh, Darren, have cutting... you ever bottled up and lashed out? Who? Darren. Yeah, yeah. But I like I I things that bother me. I like tuck like deep, dark down, and I think I feel like it comes out like months later. Oh, how does it come out? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it does <laughs> come out. It you does. Cutting? I think Darren, you're lying. I think maybe that's my shit. problem. It doesn't come out. Darren, are you cutting? Is that what you do? Are you a cutter? Are you cutting? Nah, okay, gotten, 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 gotten. So, Analog Sam, are, uh, are you still trying to figure out how to play a YouTube video? Uh, no, I was trying to figure out how to play it on uh, like uh, the high quality video, but we actually don't have that episode in the videos that we have. So now I have to figure out how to play the YouTube video. Analog Jack um, says, now if Zach were to, were to be able to get Timmy to lash out at Darren, that would be impressive. <laughs> How would I do that? I'm trying I don't to figure know. out a way. Ooh. I love Darren. Lash out at me. I'd have to play a role. I'd, I'd have to be. A Someone part of says, it. "Any sexy lashing out stories?" <laughs> That's my favorite recurring weird joke in chat. Is when every subject gets turned into any whatever sex any sexy stories about whatever it's just so funny the idea that we would because that came from a newsboys thing where somebody asked trevor and i like any sexy stories and i right. just it felt very real at that moment it was like the idea yeah. that someone was like come on come on zach and trevor like Wait, tell so, a sexy story so like, you think the first story. time be? the first time someone said it they meant it i think so i love that I love that. You know, it's like they wa they watch you and Trevor's show. They like you guys a lot, and they relate to you as people. But it's they a very, also you know, wanna, they also want to jerk it. Yeah, exactly. And, and you get a real look inside our lives when we're streaming like this, and they're just like, I really want to know if these guys have any good sexy stories. Yeah. <laughs> a sexy story. I don't. <laughs> okay. So Sam, go to YouTube, and then there's a search bar, and in the search bar, type WKUK, and then what's the name of the sketch we wanted to watch? 
Okay, so yeah, what I you're seeing it. right now is And then you push Zach. enter. After that, after you write it in, you push enter. Zach's gonna make Sam lash out at me, which will make me lash out at Darren. Zach's pulling what we call a hat trick right now. <laughs> it's gonna uh, be really uh, impressive. Oh yeah, Walt Whitman, thank you. Okay, let me... I gotta share with you guys first. Oh, we're just now getting into the sharing. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, we, we haven't says, gotten into sharing yet. This has all been navigating the minefield of YouTube. As far as sexy stories goes, <laughs> Dead End World says, I mean, it's pretty clear that you guys fuck, so it's only right. <laughs> well, three of us have children, so we have evidence, I guess. But yeah. Uh, yes, in Timmy's mind, not having children means you could possibly be a virgin. <laughs> what? Uh, no, that's not what I mean. I just it's mean a classic that... Timmy line. I, you know, guys... I'm the only one with a kid, so technically I'm the only one who could actually prove they've had... Did I say that once? I probably did, No, you said I... I did. This was the thing. It was uh, at Conway, Arkansas. It was at that show. And it was uh, the first time we did a show since you were uh, of child. Had a kid. Of child? Yeah, of child. (laughs) Yeah, Um, of child. Of child? Yeah. Of child. Be childed? And you said like we, we we had like five minutes, and you said like, and it seemed like almost like you had this one in the in the chamber. You go, uh, you know, guys, I'm actually the only one with physical evidence that I've had sex. And then, what like, were we just talking about? As like a gut, it was like to nothing. It was just like kind of, hey, how's it going? You got guys, oh, you know funny. what? And then just as a gut reaction, I was like, you're the only one that needs it. <laughs> it was very. So that so you told that story just to kind of. Uh, promote your own joke that you made that <laughs> yeah uh, good one Timmy. <laughs> hey i didn't bring it up but i didn't bring it up either so i was talking about it interaction many many times like you clearly love that that zinger of yours <laughs> oh i think it's one of my finest hours i think it's a great singer <laughs> and that was what 11 years ago all right yeah it's a great singer hey i have a zinger i have a zinger i gave justin savakis when we worked at imagination <laughs> so this had to be in like 2004 that I still think back, and I'm like, God, that was a good zinger. Uh, <laughs> Would it make sense guys, to tell you, an hour now? Do you guys want to watch the, the sketch? I guess I won't tell this amazing zinger that's held up almost 20 years. No, hey, let's watch the sketch. Yep. Yeah, let's go. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, I set it up. It, it's, Unless it's an almost out-of-context uh, burn on me, uh, you probably shouldn't, Zach. <laughs> there was context. <laughs> there was context. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, no, 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 Zach. Tell, tell, tell the zinger. No, 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 no. It's cool. No, let's, please. Let's watch if we're sketch. ready to watch this video. Let's get, let's move on with our lives. Let's yeah. watch the video, and then we can do that. I no. The only reason I was saying that is because we're not on the screen right now. It's it's just the the video. Play the video. So I kind of. Uh, We've been waiting a half an hour to watch this video. I wonder if it will ever play. All right. Let me just do this. Oh, so man. You can see us. All right, let me cool. just do this, and then I'll play the video. It's oh no! Muted. Oh, Unbelievable, no, it's, dude. It's just <laughs> muted. On YouTube. You're relentless. So bored. There's no one online to talk to. Echo. Hmm. I wonder. Seventy nine three. Yeah, hi. I hope you don't mind, but I ordered some drinks. No, that's cool. Okay. All right. So let's just cut to the chase. Movie ideas. My, <laughs> my head's just been spinning all day. So, what is it? Sam, turn it up well, if you can, you buddy. People are complaining. Oh. Oh. <laughs> my. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Oh, my land is a good idea. Star Wars 7. Oh, 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 wait, wait, but how do we do that? I've already gone back and brought them up to the original story. Are you suggesting that we go before Anakin's birth? No, I was thinking you could just keep going into the future. Remake the original trilogy. 
That's brilliant! No, no, no. I was thinking you could just make like a movie that takes place after Return of the Jedi. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh! I'm in if you'll have me, kid. Star Wars 7. Its brilliance is in its simplicity. Go forward in time. So what would happen in this future after Jedi movie? Well, I was thinking that maybe they could have to blow up another Death Star. They had another Death Star? Yeah, maybe. And then maybe Leia betrays Luke or something. But she's a good guy! Yeah, but maybe she gets brainwashed by like an evil wizard or something. That's the only way she would do it! Yeah, and there's like two Chewbaccas. Ah! Oh my god, that man's having a heart attack! Make sure the franchise goes to Quidditch, kid. 79-3. <laughs> Welcome to my movie. I hope you all enjoy Star Wars 7, the secret of the new Death Star, Boba Fett goes to the sun, and R2-D2 fights a lava snake. <laughs> How do I get out of this other Death Star? Oh no, an alarm! Two Chewbacca's? Child. Uh, so not only is the second Death Star accurate, but I mean, I feel like if J.J. Abrams probably had a chat handle that was like Quidditch Kid with 73 at some point. You know? Why did we dress George Lucas like that? Like, George Lucas wears a plaid shirt, right. tight jeans. Well, I don't know. It's yeah. like a grandpa jacket and grandpa pants. That's like how my grandpa used to dress, like tan that, pants and a tan jacket. That was that was a wild one because also the there was the, the makeup debacle with that one. Do you remember that? Well, was, yeah, where your goiter kept yeah, falling the off, jowl. and it was just like, do we lose it or keep it? It was a well, major no, no, problem. No, no, even before goiter that, issues. it was the kind of thing of like, like, like we were like, hey, we really want this like jowl, and the makeup artist was like, I've got it, I've got it, like I can do this, I can do, and like it just was not right, and it was like the whole way we were like, that doesn't look right, and it's like, no, this will look right, and it just like was one of those things where someone wasn't doing what we were asking for and yeah. we were saying it wasn't it and it just never she was and... we had problems we had yeah. problems yeah is that, a, is that a season two sketch yeah yeah okay yeah yep. <laughs> <laughs> sam yeah. Uh, but you're george lucas that's like maybe one of my favorite sams so i know I it's like is that so sam is that funny. your is that the peak of the mountain uh yeah yeah nah. that's, that's that's the apex of sam right, mountain that's right there here's that, here's what i would nominate was... for sam's mount rushmore of sketches George Lucas, loveliest bride. Sam's muscles. Yeah. Sam in the in the uh, Miss the March. Um, Miss March video. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was talking about that I will today. not play. A <laughs> I do not want to play a fucking black guy. And then it cuts to Jordan Carlos. Jordan Carlos. Better be black. That guy better be black. <laughs> I am a white man. A white man. A white Christian man. What is this? This has nothing to do with being. And then it just Christian. cuts back to Jordan. Right? It has God. everything to do with it. And then it cuts back to Jordan. He's like, God everything. damn it. <laughs> everything. And then I need one more. I'm going to nominate for Sam's final one. It's tough. I would go the Grapus. Oh, go that's people in chat are saying too. Oh, so Although the greatness is more about the concept of the sketch. No offense, Sam. Less your performance, because you're yeah. just screaming. It's more about the concept. I'm going to pull back on the greatest. Uh, what about... Um, it's uh, definitely not Skatefall, so you can just put that right the <laughs> fuck out of your mind. What about Mitch Huggins? Yep. Oh, Mitch Huggins, man. That's, it. that's, that's a good thing. That's probably the best. We treat you like that family. Family. <laughs> 
Family. Those are five bangers, dude. Those, yeah, all those five are good of those ones. Are yeah. but, well, Rushmore only I, has four heads on it, though. I told you guys I was I in five OK sketches. <laughs> Family. I told you, I told Wait, you I stopped guys. being able to hear everybody. What happened? A watch. Damn, I love how you're like, yeah. <laughs> not, not thank you. Yo, thank you, guys. I can't hear anything. Run yeah. around the room is yeah. Sam's muscles. I, I, I tagged that one. Yeah, that was, yeah. Um. Uh, what the, the zinger? The zinger. Everyone no, wants no, to know it's, about it's, the, the zinger. The moment is past. What? The, zinger, the zinger's gone. It's it, the damage is it? done. I ruined it's, it. It's not happening. God I lost. Uh, I lost audio for a second. We're we're not doing the zinger anymore. Did you forget? Timmy, it? quit talking about how you lost audio, dude. Yeah, but I couldn't hear you guys, so we're not. Doing well, the we zinger. get that. You've been saying nothing but that for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, well, Timmy, we saw some weird stuff on your desk. Timmy yeah, I have a bunch of Darren. weird shit here. <laughs> Zach's like, I did Fuck it! you, Darren! <laughs> <laughs> boop, boop, yes! boop, boop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I got my medical bracelet from when I went to the hospital and got COVID. Timmy, no one gives a shit about COVID anymore. Okay. Tell Say your story there, <laughs> asshole. Oh, we... I'm just teasing. Have I been I affected by oh, this HBO shit? See, you guys always shit? think... Yes. See, I'm only actually mad like... I don't know. 49% of the time, when you think See, I'm mad. I, I like to play we, along, too. Whenever we enter the last hour of the stream, it turns into, like, us four in a car ride together. Like, <laughs> right. everybody on stream is well, in Well, Zach gets bored, and he's like, I have to antagonize someone or I'm going to kill myself. So, you know, and then we all kind of, like, you know, and then it goes from there. So Dude, that was a shitty, fucked up thing to say to me, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We should do. We should start doing this stream uh, where every episode we do like one of us is doing a driving simulator from like one city to another city. The only difference is if this was the whitest kids in the car, we're missing Trevor playing intentionally antagonistic music on yeah. the loop. Like Bro, you're right. I still have those CDs. Again and they again don't and even... again until one of us is like, turn the fucking shit off. They don't even the oh. CDs don't even work anymore. But I, I know I pulled them out on a stream a couple years back, but I still have them in my car even though they don't work. It's Trevor's awesome mix. Crash into me, right? Tr Timmy and Trevor's awesome mix too, and then Zach's mix. Parentheses good. <laughs> Those are the three CDs. Because <laughs> I just remember, because our, our like big CD had like you know some stupid Dr. Dre song like California Love, and then like the Jurassic Park theme, and then a bunch of random shit, and you were just like, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm like, because yeah, someone had a laptop and we were burning CDs in the car yeah. on the way to Cape Cod, and you were just like, I have to do something about this. And, yeah. It was pretty uh... funny. I remember, like, you would you would hang out with Trevor, like, like late night, you know, like, uh, having drinks and stuff like that, and he would do this thing where he'd be like, oh, I need to, like, I'm tired of whatever music's on, and, like, grab the iPod or, or phone connected to everything, and do the thing where he plays a song, listens to it for about a minute 30, and then plays another song. And then, Are you talking like, to me? Or, are you talking to me? I'm saying Trevor would. Oh, just in general when we were hanging out with him. Trevor yes, Wood, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. There was like yes. a late night thing where he would play oh, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. a minute thirty of of, and he'd uh, be like, "Oh, I'm I've I've got it, guys, I've got it." And the other thing about it too is like, we would be like, he would come to my house and I would play music on my laptop and he'd just go change it. It's like I don't know. I mean, I don't really care, but like you'd think it'd at least be like, "Hey, can I go change your music?" <laughs> he would just like go and do it, you know. He was a natural born strip club DJ, yeah, and he would play yeah, totally. songs for about as long as a strip club song would play. He would say that too. He's like, I like strip club music. <laughs> yeah, he did. It was his he favorite. Yeah, he loved it. He loved Rob Zombie. No. Like, oh, that one, yeah. one Rob Zombie well, he played song. That, that one song. That yeah. One. Well, yeah. I am a natural creep, but I'm a medical freak. Yeah. That song's great. Whatever that is, I forget what it is. It's there was a, I think there was uh, like one night where like Trevor came home and he just like kept playing that yes! in their apartment. Yeah, like, and Amy really was like, loud. "This has to stop." And Amy like came out of bed and she was like, "I have to work in the morning." <laughs> like, he's just playing it as loud as it can be. Uh, I like honestly, last August, you know, uh, I listened to that song at one point, and cried a little bit because I like was remembering that kind of shit, you know. Um, but here's an interesting comment 
Repairman Action Hero 1 says, that's totally an OCD thing. You can't let them have the aux cord late at night. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, there, there was a, a time that Trevor and I went to uh, uh, Jumbo's Clown Room, which is this bar strip club clown room uh, here in L.A., and we were there, and we looked down to the end of the bar, and uh, this guy with long hair and a beard is, is there, and I'm like, I think that's Rob Zombie. He's like, nah, that's not Rob Zombie. And then we look over to the jukebox that we're standing right next to, and there's that Rob Zombie solo album that's just his face. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's Rob Zombie. <laughs> <laughs> was it? Was it him? Yeah, yeah, it was Rob Zombie. Didn't you guys see uh, Lemmy there once, Lemmy, too? yeah. Maybe it was like Lemmy. two Lemmy times in a row, like like the two times we went to Jumbo's Clown Room, we saw Lemmy. And then didn't Rob John Zombie. Hamm come over? It was like, ah! I wasn't there for that one. He was. Oh. He's John Hamm was at Jumbo's Clowner. Yeah. yeah, apparently he went over and like was like, "Hey, what's up, man?" Hey, like was, like was very friendly with Trevor, and then at the end said, "Stay golden, pony boy." I never. Uh, that is. Never... I'm sorry. That is so fucking deeply lame. What? Oh, I guess someone doesn't like the outsiders. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... uh... Jumbo's clowner was just like, they didn't get naked, right? It was like bikinis or something. Right? Yeah, and they just dance around, kind of thing. It's closed yeah. now, didn't it close? I think it's no. gone. It's, it's, oh, still, it's there. still there. Yeah. Uh, uh, watch another sketch. Well, we only have forty-five more minutes. I don't think we could get another one hooked up. Oh come oh, on, Zach! Oh, oh, come on, boy! Oh, if Sam boy. starts now, we might squeeze one in. Oh. Ouch. I thought you weren't going to tell your good zinger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well. man! I, I, I do want to hear this zinger, Justin Savakis zinger. I want to oh, hear it. Would it, it even make so sense though, out of context or no? <laughs> we just text it to me, Zach. Yeah, I'll text you later, Darren. I'll text to you. Okay. Text Darren, him now. You, I want to see Darren's face when he reads this. <laughs> I'll have to no. do my Savakis No, the, the truth is it's not a very good back. zinger and the reason I'm being all cagey about it is because I'm like I don't think it's actually as funny as uh, yeah. I don't know why I remember it but at the time I was very pleased with myself but uh, you also have to know Justin pretty well like I think if you don't know him it doesn't that's work that's what I'm saying is I wonder if it would work since people don't yeah. know him too well you know um, it, I don't like, know if this is okay to, oh what what but isn't this a funny thing? I think it would like, I, and I'm curious to, if you guys have this this like memory in your head somewhere of like moments where you said something off the cuff, and you're like, you think back to that, and you're like, that was fun. Do you guys do that, or is that just like me with like a a, a weird ego in certain places? I think sometimes, probably. I don't know. I think I'm I so can really only remember the Justin Savakis thing. <laughs> so do you have other comments that I've made that I'm like? I'm killing it. There was that one time where, uh, Darren, the, the, the fuck you shit face time. That was, I think, I think back to, to you texting that. That was through a text. Oh, yeah. We were in the car, right? Oh, to Rachel. There? To Rachel, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you texted. Yeah. And we were like, Darren, you were like, what should I text, him, text her back? And one of us was like, no, text no. Back, I was just fuck like, you shit face. Fucking... Rachel keeps texting me, and like Trevor was like, "Just text her back, fuck you, shit face." And I was like, "Okay," <laughs> and text her. Back. <laughs> and then there was just pause. Darren. <laughs> no. no. I just think she was completely. She was like asking me what I wanted for dinner, and I said, "Fuck you, shit face." <laughs> <laughs> I can remember thousands of things I've said that were lame that I think about. And I'm like, oh, why did I say that? Oh, yeah. That, that I got a whole bank. I, don't, yeah, I have too, way man. less like, oh, I'm so funny. Huh, like, just... Speaking of texting on tour, remember we were in Atlanta and we were going to um, uh, the Claremont Lounge, which is like kind of a strip club. And the only oh. reason we were going is because my girlfriend at the time, you remember who I'm talking about? I don't want to say her name. Yeah. Um, she was like, you've got to go to the Claremont. It's this really fun strip club. Like, you, you've got to – don't leave Atlanta without going. So I was so excited that we were all going. It was, like, late at night. We'd gotten out of our show, and we were, like, in the van going to the Claremont. And I texted her. I was like, going to the Claremont, going to get some ham wallet. Like, dr I was drunk. It's, like, not a funny thing. But I, that's, like, that's what I texted. Like, going to the Claremont, going to get some ham wallet. So excited. Something like that. 
The next day, I like call her in the morning. She like didn't answer. I like call her a couple times. She like doesn't answer. Finally, I like get her on the phone like in the early evening, like before the show, and I'm and she's like all cagey, and I'm like, "What's up? Are you? What's going on? Why? Something? Something's off?" And she's like, "I just really didn't appreciate your text." And I was like, "What?" And she's like, "Ham wallet." I was like, "Okay, it's not very funny, but like, what, what do you mean?" She's like, "You don't talk to me like that." I remember just being like. What are you? What is happening right now? It's a, this was, you told me to go to the club. Like, obviously, yeah. I'm not gonna like cheat on you and text you about it. Like, she she was like thought it was like way too crass. For but this me was to when be, you like, were dating Miss Piggy, right? Yeah, Miss Piggy. <laughs> Zach, is that insane? Am I wrong? Thing was that, that was I had a line? Zachary. I still don't worry about this. To this Didn't family. she say something like, it. "Do you think that that was appropriate to text that to me?" She. Something like that, I felt like. And she even was like, I even showed it to my friend, blah, blah. And she thought it was fucked up, too. And I'm just like. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> well, I was like, I don't want to be in this fucking relationship anymore, man. I hate. I hate when, like, people get brought into, like, like I. Hey, I had my best friend and I told them what's going on. And they sided with me. It's like, yeah, no They shit. agree with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm like. Yeah. Duh. Like, you and, just made up a friend. You don't even know that for <laughs> sure. They just agreed you with you to your face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then yeah. they went home they and told their home significant and... other, she's all mad about hand wallet. Isn't that fucking stupid? <laughs> and then their significant other says, yeah, I asked my best friend and they agree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, and I'm sure your, your, your rendition of the story was very, you know, like... Yeah, unbiased. It was very unbiased, yeah. No, I think she showed her the text. I think they were, like, at, at brunch, and she showed no, her, like, I, the text. So, I mean, she had an objective view of the conversation. I just mean, in general, with that, that move of, like, oh, my yeah. friend sides with me. But Domino's yeah, yeah. Fleet says, Domino's Fleet says, but hey, Zach, for real, did you get some ham wallet? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <sighs> You got a ton of pussy, though, right? <laughs> uh, oh my god! Yeah. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's cringy. I mean, I don't think that the words "ham wallet" are funny. It's not. No. I, I I'm not like that was a good text, but I, I don't think it's worth being like mad about. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. I think it's pretty funny. Maybe. Maybe someone just told her that they they were like, "Hey, uh, hey, what's up, Pam Wallet?" or like some you know guy on the street, and she was like, "Oh, I yeah. hate that term." And, yeah. Also, it's funny, like you know, you get in like new relationships, and like the person has like different ground rules. So like this this same girl, I remember I had been in a relationship for a long time where it was like farting was totally legal. We would both like la like fart loud, laugh. You know, I would like, I'd laugh at how bad farts smelled, all that stuff. I remember the first time with this girl, I like, we we're in my apartment, I like, like ripped one, and she was like, no, don't do that around me. I was like, what do you, what do I, I gotta like go walk in the bathroom and fart? Like, is that what? She's like, don't fart around me. I was like, this is insane. What do you do? Just not mention it? Just no, do just it anyway. Hold it in. You just try Whoa. to silently, like lift up a cheek and just try and get it out there without noise or what? Guys, primer, I. Primer, primer I bewitch? I can't even... Primer I bewitch. bewitch? Primer, primer I bewitch? Pr prime primer rib I bewitch. Witch. Thank you so much. Prime, prime rib, rib witch. witch. Thank you, Sam. Prime Jesus. rib. Prime rib witch. That, that took, took us, us way, too way too long. long. <laughs> primer I, I bewitch. Yeah. They, they dropped a... They just gifted a whole bunch of subs. 50. Prime rib 50 50 fucking subs. Jesus Christ. 50. Oh, my That's God. Awesome. Thank you very much. Wow. We're doing it. Um... Someone says we call that move the one cheek sneak, Timmy. I've never heard that term. That's a great term for that. Guys, this is gonna be my last stream for a while. What's happening? What's Whoa. happening? I'm just gonna be traveling and I'm not I'm not gonna be free on Saturdays for Traveling for your, for your big while. movie stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Well uh, that makes me sad. Well, I can't all right. believe uh, that your wide release horror movie is letting you is gonna you're gonna let that take you away from this. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm excited. I'm excited I'm about that. I'm so the excited, movie man. Out. I can't it's even I can't even cool. joke like that for more than three seconds. I'm so fucking stoked. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, I I can't wait for you guys to see it. Oh, I can't wait. Well Sam saw a very early cut. I saw a very saw early cut, but I'm excited to see like the the, the final the, the So okay. Version. Zach, what 
are like three movies I should show my 11 year old daughter so that by the time we see your movie next month she won't be s totally traumatized you should show her let the right one in okay it's a it's one. a horror movie. It's a legit yeah. grown-up horror movie, but it's for kids. Kind yeah, it's not of. super it's gory. About it's kids. about kids. It's about yeah. But it's really good. It's, it's a great high movie. quality. Yeah. It's really good. But it you is mean a the original, movie. the original Euro European one, whatever. Yeah, I think it's. Country. You know, I'm embarrassed to say. I don't know if it's Norwegian things. or Swedish. I don't know which one. I think it it's Dutch or something. I it's not remember. Dutch. It's not it's, Dutch. It's, okay. But yeah, that one. Not you're not talking about the American one. Excellent. Also, another one that is like all ages, but but is a is a good horror movie. Is the Spanish the orphanage? Oh, la orphanage! I bet you would like that. I saw I that, that at one. Sunshine Cinema yeah. back in the day. Mm. Yeah, it's a great movie. Yeah, nice and creepy. Real. I'm creepy. trying to think of like movies that I would show like a, a ten a year old. There's well, and, and then but but then I gotta then I gotta get her okay with gore because yours is gonna have some gore in it. I don't think honestly I don't think she should watch my movie. I know I'm kidding. I was oh, okay. totally kidding about oh. this whole line of thought. <laughs> there... <laughs> Do you know it's a really good? Like, well, you should intro. show her the orphanage. You really well, should. No, I, I want to show her cool horror movies, but yeah, I, I, I just reading your script, I'm like, she can't fucking watch no, this. She can't watch it. <laughs> like, there, I'm, my mom should watch it. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people. <laughs> like, there's this. It's cool. Uh, like, if you want to get her into like like more like cool movies, there's this one. It's uh, it's like a French movie called Irreversible that <laughs> she would. I knew it. Love. I knew it would be that, or yeah. maybe a Serbian <laughs> film. Or uh, <laughs> yeah, what? Are, so irreversible Antichrist. Antichrist would be terrible. Uh, a cannibal Serbian Holocaust. Film, Sallow, and I would so, say Human Centipede Two. You could put on there. Human Centipede yeah. Two. Wait. Do you know that then, Human Centipede Two is like so over the line? It's it's not even. It has nothing to do with Human Centipede. It's like they they decided to take that like Serbian film and just like push it. Wait, Human Centipede Two? Yeah, it's weird. It's like a Trojan horse movie. <laughs> I'm not lying. What? Yeah, and it changes. All I know the about it half. is that each human human centipede sequel takes place like it's like a meta thing where like human centipede two, it's a guy who loved human centipede one and makes yeah. it happen again, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then and then show her like Lightyear or some shit. <laughs> like <laughs> after all those. <laughs> and then she'll just be emotionally broken inside and she'll just watch Lightyear like this the whole time. Lydia Petunia that, says my that is very to similar to how art. I watched. Yeah, fan art? <laughs> it's very similar what, what, to how I what? watched Lightyear. What was that, Zach? <laughs> Lydia Petunia says my phone's dying, but you haven't shown fan art yet. Let's, I oh. got you, Lydia. Are you asking me to do it? All right, we'll do fan art. Uh, Mars update while you're oh, pulling that up. Oh, she wants. Hold on, Lydia. I didn't get all those loaded up though. She's oh, asking sorry, about. Sorry, Lydia. Here's what happened. Is last time when it was just me and Zach, we showed some, like, quickly sketched stuff, and Zach's like, eh, you know, we talked about it, and Zach wasn't really into it, and I kind of agreed with him, where we didn't like quickly sketched art, and so Lydia made a whole series of, like, fake, fake quickly sketched art, and put it on Reddit. I will, I didn't get all, I want to get all those cataloged, I didn't do it. I do have a couple other things that she did more recently, but, uh, okay. yeah, I'll get I there, Lydia. I just feel like if it's something that somebody could just Blast out on a cocktail napkin in less right. than 30 seconds. It doesn't right. deserve to be on the stream. No, I totally get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she made a bunch of ones making fun of that fact. All Basically, right, fair enough. Do look like fair that. Enough. But but I don't have those all, all prepared. But I will get there. Um, uh, let me talk about Mars real quick. Yes. Uh, we have been going in regularly. We have been yeah. We have been working on it. The animation is like coming together so fast. I'd say over 75 percent of it is animated. And oh wow. Um. Wow. It's looking fucking great. We have yet to do music. We have yet to do final like sound effects design, but those are not going to be too tough. And we're we still need to raise more money. I think we're about like 90k shy of of being all done. Is that right, Sam? Uh, yeah. It's it's kind of a tough number, but uh, it and it's it's, it's been a bit of a moving goalpost. I, I mean, I think we have filled the jug, but other expenses have arisen and so i think we, we're we're 90k of being done um and it's doable we're gonna make it work yeah it's very stoked uh, it's gonna happen all righty here's some uh fan art so here's all hail gibson with a sketch they did of trevor Ooh. very nice 
And this is only the last couple weeks. I know there's more fan art to get to. Like I said, well, I'll get there for next time. But uh, Copperhead with this little drawing of the RC glow, kind of a tattoo idea they had. Rad. I like that. I like the sword. Um, Dante, hold up with this tattoo they got recently, which I'd never thought of before. That's but what rad. a great, That's yeah, what a great Whitey great. Skits tattoo. I love that moment in the movie so much, too. Keep breathing, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> that, now, now, that's what it says on the wall in the... Yeah. You yeah. open the door and it says yeah. that. When you yeah. guys are tripping. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you yeah. open the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it's a good reminder, too, you know. Okay, so here's Ghoul Brains uh, with uh, this awesome... That's awesome. Trevor tribute, yeah. Cool. And then... Uh, Ghoul Brains. <laughs> that's Lydia, right? I think it's the same person. And then Ellen here's Keller, Helen. this looks rad. It... Yeah, with the Trevor yeah. uh, flagship uh, tattoo. Oh, mm. flagship. Oh, yeah, yeah I get yeah, it. It says, so it says never miss. It. Yeah. I like it. And then uh, raining red caps. These are all, uh, most of these are from last weekend, you know, for, with Trevor's anniversary. Yeah. So, um, so there's a great one. As what? Of Tanzig Nordic. What a... People what? like you. What? Why is that girl? A happy trail that, that he's got. Yeah, there. I got some good... Uh, musculature. Is that what you call that? The happy trail or something? Well, that, the happy trail is for pubes. That's like the bones. What's what's going on there is the bones. And you could see all of his bones. So those were probably there. Cum gutters. That's what they're called. Skinny Cum motherfucker. Gutters. There you go. Yes. Cum gutters. Okay. Thank you. That's... Uh, that's all I had for this week. So we'll get some more soon. Uh... Well, guys, I'm cool. pooped. I How bad? Darren, what time tired. is it over there? It's almost 2. Darren's going to go poop. One, 1.30. Go to bed. All right. All right. Later, Good seeing you guys. Later, Bye, Darren. I love you, all. baby. See you later. Bye. Peace, man. Bye. You guys, uh, right. since I had to stay home the last few days, I've watched... I don't know. Uh, once I finish the movie and watch a night, I'll have watched six movies in the last three days. Ooh, what movies? I don't know. Um, I'm finishing uh, The Villainess right now, which is a Korean action movie. I watched uh, Face Off for the first time in like 20 years the other day. Okay. Did you, you like know it? What, you know what that movie has a lot of? People touching each other's faces the entire fucking time. Do you guys remember yeah. the movie at all? It's, I, it's, 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 I guess not ironic, but fitting that the guy whose show of affection to his family was rubbing their face would have Gets to his take face his taken face off. Take off. Yeah, take his face but, off. Yeah. The funniest part to me is, so at the end of the movie, spoilers for Face Off, by the way, but at the end of the movie, you know, John Travolta brings home the little kid with him who was like the the child of the other, of the bad guy, you know, and he's going to come live with their family now. And so John Travolta's character, his daughter comes up and immediately is like, hi, and like touches his face. It's like, this kid, like if I was this kid, I'd be like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Because he's there yeah. for like, 30 seconds and everybody yeah. has already touched his face like that and then it's, each other's faces it's like, so not healthy what they're doing too no, they like are literally yeah. like hey we're replacing our dead son with this other kid yeah because <laughs> i because i killed his dad and got his mom killed actively was involved in both of his parents dying so we're gonna have him. that's not and gonna end like, well for that kid yeah it's one of those pandemic things too. Like after you've been in, through the pandemic and stuff, all these people touching each other's faces. It's like that's gross. It's like when I watched that movie a couple years ago during the pan when the pandemic just started. I watched Haywire, which is like this action movie. But there's this part where Antonio Banderas is with this like hot lady. You know, he's like this crime lord, and there's this hot lady with him, and she like puts a strawberry on his tongue on her tongue, and then like rolls it into his mouth. And I was just like, that's fucking disgusting now. <laughs> Guys, did you hear about Gary Busey? No, no, what happened? He got arrested oh. for a sex offense in oh, New Jersey. Shit. Oh, shit. When? Wow. What? Actor Gary Busey is facing <laughs> sex offense charges that allegedly occurred during the annual Monster Mania convention held at the Doubletree Hotel in Whoa. Jersey, New Jersey. He took what that is a little... Monster Mania convention? It's probably... You know, they have tons of those, like, uh, genre movie conventions of people yeah. like him who, are, who, who could, you know, Go have get time. Go get Edward <laughs> Furlong's autograph. Exactly. That kind of thing. Man. But, uh, hey, hey, Busey, don't take the title of the event so seriously next time. Yeah. 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 Jesus. Oh, that's a good one. Prefix, suffix, two, six. 
What? More like Gary sexual abusey. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> That's the dono. comment of the night. Tweet it we got out. Two, Tweet we got a couple out. donos here. Or no, uh, one new one. Uh, Nasty Porch donated 30 bucks. Thank you very much. Thank you. It says, you guys never miss. Aw. Oh, uh, thank you. That's very sweet. Thank you. Uh, I also, uh, well, I watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre on the 18th because I always watch it on August 18th because it takes place on August 18th. Do you really? Every year? Yeah. August 18th? It's kind of a fun tradition, you know? I, I could watch that movie every year. Yeah. It's the best. And what I found out this year, some uh, I posted about it on Twitter or something, and some fan said, it's actually also the birthday of one of the ladies that's in it, the lady that gets stuck on the meat hook. Oh. That's that actress's oh. birthday. So. That is, I think, one of the... Most horrifying shots in movie history. When he, they, when she's getting put on it. The yeah, like the whole like door open grab. Yep. It like it lingers so long and it's, it's so still uncomfortable. Scary. Yeah, it's still scary, man. Um, and then I watched uh, Texas Chainsaw Two, which I love. It's a way different kind of movie, but there's a great jump scare in that that I didn't notice before. Is when they're in the radio station and. I don't know exactly how they do the shot, but Leatherface just comes out of a black room like, bam, he's suddenly there, and it's pretty well done. I, I jumped a little bit, even though I've seen it a million times. But, yeah, I don't know. I've watched a bunch of movies, but uh, I don't remember everything else. Deep Red, I watched that last night. Deep Red, what's that? It's a Dario, Dario Argento slasher movie from, like, the 70s, or mm -hmm. Giallo kind of movie, you know? So. Mm -hmm. uh, soundtrack by Goblin. You guys, you know, Goblin, the Italian. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, the soundtrack is so fucking good in Deep Red. Profondo Rosso, that's the Italian name. Look it up on YouTube. The music is so good. Uh, it's funny because, like, in a horror movie, when someone's about to die, music gets dramatic, right? But in this, in Deep Red, it's fast music. Like, so when, when like, the killer is, like, behind somebody, he's like, do 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 It's like, yeah. it's almost like peppy kind of rock and Weird. roll music and then he like you know murders a woman by bashing her head against the wall <laughs> okay <laughs> so at fright fest in london there's a new dario argento movie that's going to be premiering there wow yeah wow. is he still alive yeah i guess so uh, <laughs> the only I mean, movie that i'm really that's what's excited so crazy to see about it is, yeah uh... no it's by his ghost <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i'm very that's excited the scary though, part you know what else is going to be premiering there is Terrifier 2. And I don't know oh. if you guys saw Terrifier 1. I've but... always wanted to. I've never oh gotten around to it. Oh, my God, dude. It is insane. Right. So I am, I'm excited to see what he has done with the next one. What's I, Terrifier uh... 1? I, it sounds it really is like nice. this ultra, ultra low budget movie about a clown that just, it's a slasher, but it's Art the Clown is the villain. And it's, it's like over the line. <laughs> it it like it is not in good taste at all That's and great. it is so crazy it's just like i can't believe they they made this it's it's kind of fantastic um <laughs> in a very evil hateful way always, yeah so, I, I really want to sit down and watch this maybe i'll do that this october you know what i did last weekend for no reason is i watched like eight found footage movies did you watch bad ben <laughs> no is that a good one i'll check it out i think it's very much worth watching because when i you and I briefly texted about, well, just uh, Paranormal Activity, which I watched, and I like yeah. that a lot. Uh, Deborah Logan, which is pretty good. Um, Did you watch Wreck, the the Spanish one? No, I didn't have that one on, like, a streamer. Put that I on really the top of your list, man. Huh? Put that at the top of your yeah, list. Yeah, that's what I – well, yeah. I, I think I needed to take a break because I watched so many. But uh, you know what was actually a good one? Was Unfriended, which is one that just takes place on a teenage girl's yeah. laptop screen. Oh. That one was good. Did you watch Lake Mungo? No, I've seen that before. That's a good one. Um, it's not really found footage, but yeah. Yeah, it's kind of. It has uh, moments. What else did I watch today? You know what I watched is what's considered one of the very first ones is the McPherson tape from 1988. It's only about oh, is that an hour good? long. It's uh, kind of. It, well, I mean, what it is is like, it's extremely low budget. I think it costs $9,000. And it's a guy's, you know, video camera footage from like his niece's birthday party. And then they go out in the woods and there was an uh, aliens have crashed and they end up getting abducted spoilers for whatever but anyway so but the thing is it's like so they go out and do that then they come back in and kind of like are telling the other people about it 
and the other people are like, okay, whatever. So there's a lot of like normal like family having a birthday party stuff in it. But then it goes back to like people are like go outside again and disappear. At the end, the aliens walk in. But one reason it's an interesting thing to watch is because it never got released, and it just, it just ended up got getting passed around on tape. And it, eventually, people thought it was real, and there are even like members of the government and the military and stuff like that that considered it to be real and were like taking it seriously that wow. it was a real alien abduction tape yeah so crazy yeah but i mean it's, it's Dude, fun to watch for that reason if you're one of those people and they're like oh yeah yeah it's a it's a movie it's like you fucking idiot like yeah well and <laughs> yeah. what's funny is like when you Wait. watch it the alien costumes are like that scene in nope it's like you guys really thought that was <laughs> you know it's like a like, rubber mask and big gloves you know <laughs> the, the the performance review meeting about that like all right so let me get this straight <laughs> you spent yeah. a month investigating this movie so okay. you sent a but it's like i just imagine a lorne michaels kind of voice like yeah. so you sent a bunch of commandos into pennsylvania because you thought there were aliens <laughs> <laughs> that was a good lorne michaels thanks all i was doing was uh copying uh uh, Mark McKinney. Mark McKinney's character, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, man. What are the, and then I watched The Conspiracy, which is kind of an interesting one. Um, Wait a minute. Cry Smith says, I feel that way about people that thought Blair Witch Project was real, like with what? that horrid acting. I completely disagree. I thought that the acting in Blair Witch Project very was well like performed. fantastic. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Dude, that movie fucking rules. I was going to rewatch that one, but then I wanted to only watch ones I hadn't seen before. But uh, Blair Witch rules, man. It's yeah, that is very, very good acting in that And movie. how can he – I mean, you can't really beat the creepiness at the end of the guy just standing in the corner. Like, yeah, it's yeah. so cool that they made that scary, you know? Yeah. I love uh, that. I remember when I was a kid. Sorry driving, to pick on you, Cry Smith. When, <laughs> when I was a kid driving around uh, with a friend of mine, and my friend was telling me about Blair Witch. You know, he like read about it online or something like that. And he's like, "It's this movie like about this like this these we find this tape that has been made." And I'm like, "Oh, uh, eight millimeter with Nick Cage." And he's like, "No, no, it's not mm. eight millimeter with Nick Cage." And I'm like. Yeah, no, it is eight mil, and I was like convinced that he was trying to tell me about eight millimeter with Nick Cage. And I was like, I'm uh. pretty sure. <laughs> the, the uh, Christ trench. says, I mean the people they interviewed at the beginning. I even remember those being good. There's that creepy lady. There's oh. the baby that's crying and cupping oh, yeah. the mom's mouth. That was yeah, so real. real. There's some. There, there's a be, There's an older guy who's pretty bad. You're right. I, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. The Trench says, I got a Blair Witch 2 tattoo before it came out. No regrets. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was that's there. awesome. <laughs> that's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> you guys ever see Open Water? It's my worst fear and scared the fuck out of me as a kid. No. Yeah, that's but, a scary one. Is it? That's, that's just where the guy and his wife are just stuck in the water with sharks. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's a funny... I remember uh, being, uh, like, freaked out by that. I'm that's sure, a, yeah. A funny genre of movies is is stuck movies, and there's a new one that just came out, like The Climb or something like that. Oh, uh, Fall. It's just called Fall. 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 A Fall, yeah. I kind of want to see that. Where just someone's stuck somewhere. There's that one that's about yeah. the chairlift, about the guys that get, the people that get stuck on a chairlift. The chairlift one was pretty fun. You know what's funny about that, too, is it's called Frozen. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, it's, it's really more about wolves, right? Because the whole thing is they're stuck yeah, in a chairlift, so. and they're trying not to freeze to death. But they can't get off because there's like a ton of wolves just like right, right under them waiting. Like that's <laughs> pretty good. But you know what the best one of those movies is? The best stuck movie, what? Cujo. I've never seen Cujo. Are oh, they stuck in the house? Dude, Cujo's fantastic. I I just saw like last year I saw Christine for the first time, or maybe this past year. Yeah. Uh, and that blew me away. Christine's amazing. It's good. I the it blew you away. Yeah. The, the cinematography style, is, is, is fantastic. The cinematography, like aesthetically, True. it's so good. The, the soundtrack is good. Uh, it's it's just like a really cool vibe, that movie. Yeah. Uh, so I want to chat, mention this, and I have to acknowledge it because I love this movie so much. Panini guys, I'm going to have to hop off soon. I'm okay. sorry to say it. Panini Sweetie says, y'all love Tremors as much as I do. I love I like Tremors. Tremors as much as Tremors you do. Tremors is good. Great, yeah. I fucking love Tremors. I watch it all the time. Have you seen the sequels? There's like a bunch of them, right? There's, yeah, there's, there's like seven or, seven or eight sequels in a TV show. I've never oh. seen any of the other stuff. Aren't they I'm all sure with the guy the guy from uh, Family Ties? Uh, he's in a bunch of them. Uh <laughs> 
Matthew Lillard shows up in some towards the end, like some of the more recent ones. Sounds I think it's right. Lillard. No, not Matthew. Somebody. Maybe it is Matthew Lillard. Let's just say it's Matthew Lillard. Yeah, sure. why not? <laughs> you, how much do you think the rights to the Tremors franchise is? I don't know. They keep doing it. Oh, it's Jamie Kennedy, not Matthew Lillard. Okay, thank you. We should we should make thank a you, Tremors Abby, Sally. Movie, guys. Come on, let's let's get together. Why does kids meet Tremors? It'll be like a whole Laurel and Hardy thing. Guys, so, I gotta dip out of here. And we'll, all right, we'll, Zach. We'll see, see you later, Trevor. Buddy. And, all right, see you. All right, Zach. later, dudes. Bye bye. Bye, uh, Town. So, Sam, you're saying that once we fund Mars, we should keep streaming and then get money to buy the Tremors franchise. Yes, yes. That's we a great idea. I, I can't imagine anyone in Horror Town not being okay with that. Yeah. All right, let's take a vote right now. Show of hands. It's not an actual poll. I know we can do polls. We're not doing a poll. We're show of hands. This is more important than Why does kids you know meet Tremors? That's what it's called, too. What is kids you know me? Yeah, just go old school, man. Like when, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 what's their name? What's the, who, who Lauren am Hardy, I talking right? about? Huh? Lauren not Laurel Hardy. Hardy. Uh, who's on first? Uh, uh, Elvis and Costello. Abbott and Costello. Elvis yeah, and know, Costello. I, <laughs> I wish. Uh, Abbott and Costello meet the Wolfman. Uh, what rules about that movie is that they actually got Bella Lugosi to come back and play Dracula. He's like, I'm not doing anything, sure. <laughs> White is Kids versus Gremlins. Ooh. And Trevor's CG'd into all of them. Right, really poorly. Like, yes. really badly. <laughs> uh, I missed you too. Like, he's said. a dude. It's just clips of him as different characters from sketches sometimes, too. It's like, <laughs> there'll be a lady Trevor, a normal Trevor, and then Trevor in the American flag shirt, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, getting high with dinosaurs says WKUK meet Tre he says I keep hearing WKUK meet Trevors but so it's a bunch of Trevors but they kind of act like raptors and they're just <laughs> I don't um, know man I, I'm going to tell tell Horror Town about something I, I'm not ready to release but um, you know we, we recently had a hard uh, anniversary a mm -hmm. few weeks ago and I spent it in a way I never thought I would, which was uh, I downloaded a deep fake app and I was just deep fake. And I sent these to Timmy. I was just deep faking uh, Trevor and my newborn son singing uh, the Circle of Life together. Or no, not Circle. Of... Yeah, no. Circle well, of that Life, was yeah, one yeah. of them. But that then was there was something them. else, too. And then there was uh, uh, I could do um, the scene for the I want the truth from. Uh, yeah. Few, few good men. Few good men. You can't handle the truth. Yeah. And I, I feel like it was really weird and uncomfortable for some people, but there's something you about it. You mean like it. when you sent it to us? Yeah, yeah. I feel like some yeah, people maybe. were like, oh, that's weird. That makes me feel I'm... weird. But so, I think some people liked it. I appreciated it. Well, because that's the thing is like, maybe it's a little, maybe I was put off a little bit by it, but I also know it's one of those things Trevor would have fucking laughed his ass off about he would have cheesed out and so yeah. it made me appreciate it you know when thousand trevors a sam brown deep fake it's like if, if i were to suddenly decide uh to photoshop a bunch of cum in his mouth in a picture <laughs> and posted it i guess that's what i'll do for the second anniversary yeah, of his death next that, year that would be... <laughs> is i'm gonna spend the next year uh photoshop getting really good at photoshop and then i'm gonna get a beautiful picture of trevor uh, just gargling cum why does kids meet the Goonies? That's fun, right? Oh, I fucking hate well, we Goonies. Could, I beat those make, kids to death. We could make these as, like, animated things, too. Like, it's like the old Scooby-Doo's when they would meet the yeah. Globetrotters. The, or like yeah, they meet the Harlem Globetrotters, uh, Batman and Robin, uh, the Addams Family, which is the weirdest one to me. Is like yeah. The Addams Family showed up on Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yeah, it feels like you guys are always trying to stop the Addams Family. You know, like, that's like... Yeah, they're good guys, right? Oh, you know what I saw recently uh, on TV was um, uh, Wayne's World. And one thing I'd, I'd never noticed was how they they seed the, the Scooby-Doo ending in the first, like, five minutes of the movie. Oh, with the old guy? With the old guy. And they're, like, very, like, intentional about it. They're very, like, hey, how's the theme park going? Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I noticed that, too, because I just showed it to my daughter, like, a month ago and she loved it but the, that movie's so fucking good wayne's world is it great is it's, good, yeah. it still hits man it's it's good you know what i watched uh because i, was I just, forgot just, meatloaf uh, is in it too that's funny yeah 
<laughs> the shitty Beatles. The shitty Beatles. Are they any good? Uh, they suck. Yeah. <laughs> then it's not just a clever name. You're right. Rock on. <laughs> oh, Crucial Chach is finishing up. I heard they wail. Then he goes, you're right. Rock on. <laughs> uh, Such a weird I, I cameo. What's his name? Uh, Rob Lowe is so good in it, too. Yeah, he re he's fantastic in that movie. Getting my um, yeah. Speaking of old comedies, I watched The Meaning of Life for the first time in probably 20 years the other day. Fucking, it's so good still. I haven't seen it in a long time, you know? Uh, someone just mentioned Walk Hard. I, I never, never seen that. saw it when it came out. I watched it recently. It's, you know, I, I'm a big uh, fan of uh, Pluto TV. Uh, and just so you know, this channel is brought to you by Pluto TV, even though they do not give us any money or want us to advertise. Did they, for them. Did they ever respond to anybody? They've never responded, uh, but uh, uh, Walk Hard is good. Is it, it still is, good? It is good. a lot of fun. Uh, I think there's good bits in it. There's uh, uh, a lot of good performances and yeah. Uh, it's it's solid. It's worth a watch. Yeah. Oh, hey, let me get to two donos quick. Rad Nuggets donates ten bucks and says, "Speaking of Gary Busey, if any member of the Whitest Kids ever gets me tooed, I will literally kill myself." Um, okay, so you're saying if we <laughs> go down for bad behavior that we would deserve to go down for? Okay, yeah. well, don't kill yourself. But uh, we're also yeah, we'll, all pretty... we'll try. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're good boys. We're, we're gonna be good boys. Yeah, but I hope it doesn't happen. And also, <laughs> hold on and hang on. Donates twenty bucks and says. Catch the tail end. Always so good to see your faces. Happy baby day, Sam. Feel better, Timmy. And saf safe travels. Happy movie, Zach, to Mars. Oh, that was before he left. Sorry. Anyways, thank you, Oct kids, for all the donos tonight. Octafuzz just quoted Walk Hard, and I thought it was, like, one of the most inappropriate... <laughs> One of the most inappropriate things I to see. say to either. One of the most inappropriate criticisms, which is in Walked Hard, uh, the whole thing is like uh, his brother dies when he's young, kind of parroting the Ray movie. Uh, uh -huh. and, and the dad keeps on saying, wrong kid died. <laughs> <laughs> and that as like just a comment in this chat, I was like, yeah. Oh. Right, since we were just talking about Trevor, like, are they saying the wrong whitest kid died? <laughs> yeah. Uh, which one of us is it? Which one of us should have died? <laughs> it, honestly, like, the other two are great. It could be either of us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear arguments for each one. Yeah. I, uh, what are you thinking? <laughs> the wrong kid died. It should have been one of them. <laughs> it's not even specific to one of us. <laughs> Yeah, just like anyone but Trevor. Yeah, <laughs> Which mean, I think I have true. seen people yeah, pretty much say that. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, man, but but oh, I can't believe it was Trevor that died. It's like, well, let's just say it's sad that anyone died. <laughs> <laughs> which one oh, of you Ramath smells Oh, says, worse which one of you smells or is that someone you? Well, I've been sick and See not ya. showering for a few days. You are, don't sleep much because you have a baby. Yeah. So you probably aren't as Yeah, my baby is constantly peeing and shitting and throwing right. up on me, so there's that. Um, <laughs> Lou Reed says, I love all of you equally like my cats. That's that's about right. That sounds good. That's the real Lou Reed from... Wow. Even though it's spelt differently and he's dead, but that's the, the real Velvet Underground Lou Reed. feel like Sam doesn't I do regularly shower but that is uh, the question is at what intervals <laughs> yeah what what is your regularity yeah like if I'm showering yeah. every year that is I am regularly showering every year JSBX fan says you mean the Lou Reed that did an album with Metallica <laughs> yeah <laughs> what did they was... call that it was called Lucy Diane what was it called yeah, oh, yeah. oh my that, god that was bad Lulu. Lulu. Oof, man. Yo, that's a stink of Lou Reed. Oh, uh, man, I should be talking to my mafia voice because it, it's way better with, oh, man, I got the COVID over here. Yeah, that's that's like a fat Tony voice. Um, terrible. Joe, Joe Mantegna or so Chaz, Chaz Palminteri. They're the same guy. I think it's Joe Montaigne. 
It is Joe Montagna. Yeah. yeah. I just always he and he and Chaz Palmateri are it basically like the they're the Earth one and Earth two versions of the same guy. Yeah. Uh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh I had a question for you. I want to answer a question from chat. A few people, and it happens every time lately, a few people are matching my red uh, splotchiness. It's because I'm Irish and fat uh, right now and not eating well. It's not because, and it's, it's just because that's what happens. And then when I uh, hang out here for too long and don't drink water and I talk a lot, it, that's what happens. It has nothing to do with anything else. I'm fine. In fact, when I got diagnosed with COVID, I had to get in, I got an EKG at the same time and I got my blood pressure taken and I'm fucking good across the board, except I had COVID. <laughs> so, don't worry, everybody. I'll be here for way longer than you, than is comfortable. Did you think of your question yet, Sam? Yeah, how's, how's, how's fatherhood? How's, how's you know, fatherhood I going? I haven't seen my daughter in like a week because she went on a cruise with her mother. So, uh, it's been <laughs> great. <laughs> it been funny no. to be like, I haven't seen my daughter in a week. Where is she? Huh. I guess I should look behind that pile of trash. <laughs> Uh, no, but what's weird though, because like she went on this cruise, I uh, bought the house, and then the same day, ended up in the ER to, and got diagnosed with COVID. So it's just like, it's just been crazy. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be seeing her t tomorrow. You so. went to the ER? Or oh, wait, what did you go to the ER for? Not so, COVID. You got well, it. Well, here's in the, the deal. ER. So I had I had a family get together last week, and my niece had like a headache and a fever for like one day, and then the next day my sister got it. And then I got it that night. And then the next day, after everybody had already gone to their homes, my brother Andy, who's the professor of epidemiology, which means the epidemics, so he knows all about this shit, he texts us and says, hey, I had a bad sore throat last night and something else, and I tested positive for COVID. Now, that's not the symptoms that I had or my sister or my, or my niece had, right? And then my mom says she had the same symptoms that Andy had, and then she tests positive for COVID. So then I gave myself a home test and I was negative. And then my niece that I did have the same symptoms as test positive. I was like, okay. But then I felt fine on Tuesday. I went to work, felt fine on Wednesday ish. And then at the end of the night, started feeling really bad again. And then I got this really intense heartburn, like really, really, really bad. And when I had COVID the first time, I did have that a little bit, both like felt back here and in the front, but I got really worried about it. You know, I'm past my forties now, I'm overweight. So I was like, this is really, really bad chest pain. I'm just gonna go to the emergency room. Mm. And so they gave me an EKG and all this other stuff and everything was fine. And I actually, I get my blood pressure tested often whenever I uh, um, refill like my Vyvanse or one of my uh, medical prescriptions. I, every couple of months I get my blood pressure taken. So, you know, all the fat guys are going to die stuff is funny, but like I'm actually have really great blood pressure and none of that. Uh, and I was all fine with the EKG. It was just COVID. So, um, but it sucked really bad, you know? So, yeah. yes. So that's my mom went to the ER and found out she had COVID there. She said it felt like she broke a rib. Yeah. I had like really bad pain, like right here. And it was just something to do with, with COVID. So, but yeah. Uh, what about your cum pressure, Andy Mac says? Andy Mac, rascal. Um, it's not great, you know. I've got this target. And I've got like a pad of cum targets in my bedroom that I put on the other side from my lotion and my napkins and uh, or Kleenex. And I never had even a change the target yet. I can't hit it. So <laughs> I'm working on it. The ER yeah. loves to check cum pressure. <laughs> yeah. I had to get a mystery lump checked a few years ago that ended up being nothing. But it is funny that when they, like, x-ray that part of you, they, like, loop you up with, like, warm stuff and, like, rub your shit all over the place. I'm like, I really hope I don't get a boner right now, but it feels very good. <laughs> <laughs> your voice is doing crazy things. I know, man. I want to tell them, like, hey, uh, if I get a boner, is that going to fuck this up? Because I'm getting it. Yeah, my voice is it's time to retire it. You couldn't catch uh, Sam with your cum. I forgot about that. You can't catch me. Can't catch me. Can't catch me. JSBX uh, says, time to sing Betty Davis eyes. She's got Betty Davis eyes. All right. Who should we? I'm going to take one more request from chat. All right. It's anti-Italian discrimination. They wanted me to say that. 
Uh, What's see. up for ra for raiding? Yeah, who should we raid? Does it feel like you swallowed some nails? No, my my throat was never sore at all. This is just from coughing. Oh wait, I'm logged out of the Twitch. I'm gonna have to log. You need another code. Well, are you? Yeah. Uh, I can go in and raid. I guess. No, no, I no. I mean, do... yeah. We, uh, I mean, I can I can raid. I just can't see who who's on right now. Uh, so uh, why don't why doesn't someone give us a suggestion? Somebody, okay. let us or, know. Or you could I log go on in. to the account and see. Yeah, who, I'm in the account right now. Let me go look. If there's any buddies online, I'm sure there is. It's Saturday night. Uh, Shroud girlfriend reviews. Cheesy blue nips. Nephew Quinn. We're all on the list right here. Uh. Let's see. Uh, wait, what were those again? Oh, Shroud, Girlfriend Reviews, Cheesy Blue Nips, and Nephew Quinn. Uh, I don't know. Do you do you want any of those, or should we just pick a rando? I don't know. Someone says, uh, do Midnight Sumo. Oh, Sam, yeah, pick one from the chat. I got to talk about something real quick. Uh, tomorrow is Trailer Boys, everybody. My voice might still sound like this, but we're doing it. And, fuck, what is the theme? Uh, party movies. Why do you know that? And I don't. <laughs> I talked to my brother. Yeah, okay. It's party movies. That'll be You know what was funny was I was telling him it's funny that, and I was like, oh, did House Party get submitted? Because it was weird hair the last week. Right. And he was like, no. Like, it's funny that, that you went from crazy hair, House Party didn't get submitted, and then you end up at party movies. And watch it not get submitted. Besides that glaring omission, uh, Crazy Hair was a great theme. It was there was a lot of good trailers. Oh yeah, I saw the the I think it was the winner the the what's that Black Roses or whatever. That was what me and Nate wanted to be the winner, but uh, Big Man Japan beat it out. Uh, oh. But Black Roses is on Shutter. I'm gonna watch it soon because it looks fucking crazy. That poster I've seen like a million times. It's the, sick. An insane poster, yeah. So oh wait, uh, I have to pick a raid from chat raid. If heavy metal is the devil's music, Black Roses is the house band. That's what they <laughs> say in the trailer. <laughs> oh, that's what I should be doing is recording trailer voiceovers right now. In a world where fat people get COVID. Where people go to Mars. <laughs> in a world. A, a world called Mars. When a bunch of idiots go there. Oh, Joe Bob hosted Black Roses? Oh, great. All right, I raided. Just someone said they raid me, and their name's God King Scrotus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sure. All right. Go for it. See ya. See you guys later. Bye. Uh, Bye, Sam. Bye, Timmy. Fun, fun show. <laughs>